Hello, everyone. Happy Friday to you. <laughs> welcome to your weekend and welcome to Missed Opportunities, <laughs> um, where we play through the Curse of Strahd here on the Lawful Stupid channel. As always, I am your host, Peter the DM. With us, we have Elena playing Claire the Paladin. We have Jade playing the wizard Elimus. We have Liz playing the cleric Maris. We have Anime Panda playing the bard Marie. And of course we have Sean playing Jeswaldo the rogue. <laughs> we all have had our coffee this time. We are set, ready to go, ready and rearing. Um, so let's kick this off. Last time um, we played. The group spent most of the day in Velaki meeting various people, a creepy puppet maker. Um, they met the uh, monster hunter, Rudolf von Richten, who had been residing in the city for, the while, for a while under the guise of the bard Richtavio. After revealing his true identity, he promised to help the group, but had to leave the city for a few days, but promised he would return with information. After investigating a bit more, the uh, group learned they were being followed. After confronting this spy, they learned that he was under the employ of one Fiona Wachter, the sort of second most powerful uh, noble in the city of Valaki. He was put under the charm spell by our bard Mary and led them straight into the Wachter Manor where they spoke to Lady Fiona for a while, who gave them the task, if they would take it, of eliminating the Baron's henchman, Isek Strazny. A lot of other little details sprinkled in here and there, but at the moment, after talking for a while, Lady Fiona became a little suspicious, cast a spell on her spy, and... After receiving this spell, he immediately pointed to the group and Mary in specifically or in particular, accusing her of charming him. The her two she called to her two sons who drew their weapons, and you could hear footsteps coming from other places of the house as she called for help. She now stares the group down and speaks. I suggest you tell me exactly why you have come here. I've been quite hospitable to this point, but you have not returned the favor of the city. Charming, my first, my first in command here. So, what are you hoping to accomplish here? If you were being followed somewhere, sorry, Giswaldo. <laughs> no, we, we all sort of looked to, uh, to Claire yeah. just like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you were being followed around in a place that you didn't know people suspiciously, wouldn't you act against that? And instead of harming him, bringing bodily harm to his person, we took a much more passive way of trying to figure out what the situation was. And he was the one who invited us here. So, you know, our personal business- I did that after are... she charmed me because I thought she was my friend. I found... Please check the note I gave you. I really- uh, I'm a little I'll confused that you pocket. are asking us to apologize, yet you're the one that made the aggressive act first. Which is totally understandable. A new group of people coming into your town, uh, it makes sense to know as much about them as you want. I completely understand. I applaud your initiative. But you cannot blame us for uh, doing a little bit of snooping of our own. And I think we've been completely and totally honest with you. We're here to know what you want. You have told us, and we will help you. We've committed Go no falsehood. Go ahead and um, either Elena or um, Sean, if you guys would, one of you would like to make a persuasion check at advantage, as this is quite 
This is a little back and forth duo here, so we'll count that as the help action. But whoever would like to roll it, go ahead and do so. I'd be happy to. So I, on Josualdo's part, I think it's going to be more of deception because he has okay. no intention of helping her. Um, I can I persuade can it. then. Um, 25. Wow. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she will... we, re- we really want to help her? What? I'm not trying to deceive. I'm not literally not trying to deceive. <laughs> she will hold a hand up to in the direction of her sons. To kind of make a gesture. A downward motion with her hand and you will see them relax their grips on their swords. Kind of lean back against the wall again. Um, you will hear the um, door behind her here creak open and you see what looks to be a hooded face peeking through. And as soon as it opens, she holds out a palm in that direction as well. And the door clicks back shut. Very well. But know this. If you charm one of my servants again, or members of my family, you will regret it. I will not do such a thing. And Marie, for the first time, uh, actually puts her marionette away. Best not. So to be clear, no. if, we, if we discover we're being followed, next time you would rather us just kill them. Quite the sense of humor, haven't you, boy? Thank you. You are right. You have been honest as far as I can tell, but you have not been entirely forthcoming. That is what I wish. Would you expect us to be entirely forthcoming with someone that we've just met? Haven't I done the same for you? Haven't I said what I want? What would make this city so much better? Why haven't you done it already? I was just waiting for the right group to come along. Scapegoats, (laughs) you mean? No. Not if you succeed. I will get right on that. Yeah, I think um, we'll need to confer about the best way to proceed with the task that you have offered us it's not something we certainly want to go off and do in the middle of the street that would be a little well stupid um you can send the wrong message it, yeah um but we'll figure out the best way to approach the situation and if we come back with good results it should be pretty obvious what's the payment oh we get to be rich lords here in the town <laughs> fantastic and a safe place for someone. Oh, yes. Your ward. Why don't you come step forward, my dear? You see Arena under the hood sort of looking back and forth to you guys and then strides forward and throws back her hood. Oh. Does Waldo does tries to stay as much as he can in between the uh like if she gets very close he won't go any further but kind of liked this position that they were back here behind the table okay he wants well, to make does go around a bit and present herself right, so more well we'll go there ah oh, pretty one aren't you hmm. what kind of trouble is she in that she needs my protection I suspect you could imagine that when a woman is as beautiful as she is, she attracts unwanted attention. Oh, I remember those days myself. Hmm. So, a violent or unwanted suitor, something of those, along those lines. 
Pretty spot on, yeah. Yeah, he's a very perceptive need. Hmm. Uh, I'd say. Possibly. Well, tell me about him briefly, and we'll make sure he never comes through the gates. Um, we've not seen him ourselves. And as far as I'm aware from what Irina has told us, and she... Well, she can speak then, if you haven't seen him. It... Come, dearie, who is this man? He's a bit clingy, you know. Ties of... Dries a place full of humor and life. She kind of steps forward and says, Well, he's... Um... A giant brute of a man. Um, you know, uh, just. Yeah. You'll not come to think of it, I think he resembles a great deal the man who you want us to kill. Maybe it is his brother. I'm not aware that Isaac had any siblings. Well, um, I'm told he was a foundling. He's a large man like him. Isn't that right, Elena? Yes, I uh, quite like him. Um, she, he, he, uh, rough hands, and you see, just terrible temper. Uh, I. He's you know, just a, a bit an obsession the in his eyes. He crashed her father's wedding. I mean, not wedding, a funeral. Completely different. Crashed her father's <laughs> funeral. <laughs> I object. <laughs> All right, we will be having Irena here make a persuasion check. Uh huh. <laughs> With advantage, because she just wanted to help. Yeah. Sure. So, Irena rolls a 19. And in doing so, she makes eye contact at the last moment with Lady Fiona and says, I can't let him have me again. Not again. Please. There's a very convincing tone to her voice. And you see Lady Vakter. <sighs> very well. We could find a room. Now, that is after what I ask is done. Of course. Hmm. So I guess... So very noble of all of you. Oh, we're doing it for money. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I'm going to look around to the group, give Jaswaldo a weird look and be like... Um, Literally, any time he opens his mouth, Mar yeah. Marie just like elbows him. <laughs> Shut <Wow>. up. <laughs> um... <laughs> Well, it looks like we have a task on our hands, and we should go figure out how to best complete that, friends. Uh, yes. Should we Let's take our leave? Let's murder someone. <laughs> well, goodbye. I, I, I'll, I'm, ba I'm basically looking to Fiona to be like, you're the noble lady in the room. Like, we good? <laughs> Can we leave? <laughs> I mean, is it safe to bring Irina with us? No. Oh, we're taking her with us. <laughs> I'm not leaving here over here right now. Nikolai, let them go. I think they've come to their senses. Mm -hmm. And he Lime steps around the corner. Mm -hmm. I, I wink to Ernst. Thank you so much for allowing us to spend time in your lovely home. Yeah. Have a lovely rest of your day. Maris is like bowing towards the door, like yeah. stepping backwards. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> she is leaning back against her plush chair and giving you all just the slightest of nods. Fireball. As if your, uh, as if your, um, your farewells are but a tribute to her and not actual communication. She is accepting them, like wonderful. Almost like does social. Another social taxation does another very elaborate bow as he leaves the room yep and she I... likes that one oh. I, just, I just walk out she doesn't like that one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Come on, everybody, every go. All right. Yep. Every go. Bowing, bowing, bowing. All right. You are able to leave. Maris, are you able to move your token? I dragged that one on for oh. you. Oh. Sure <laughs> you don't need to right now. All I'm, about I'm that. <laughs> just making sure. Yes. Elena, that was an amazing lie. Very good. Oh, shit. That's not my name. <laughs> Claire, I believe. Yep. Yep. That's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't lie. I just spoke around. No, I was talking to Elena. What? I- Irina, <laughs> what's her name? Oh, oh like, Irina. Okay. Irina, sorry. <laughs> you said what? Elena, you who is about? the player Did, of Claire. Yes. And <laughs> as Unfortunately, just similar names. Yeah. Unfortunately, similar. All right, oh. Irina. Right. I am looking at Il There it is. Thank you. That's. I should change mine as well. <sighs> Thank you, Jeswaldo, but I thought that was awful. Oh, no, um, it was fantastic. Take it from one who knows. Ah, uh, well. There was a bit of truth in there. Oh, those are the best lies. Aren't they? <sighs> Just um, all I could think to do. So, um, are we really going to track down and murder this man? For well, <laughs> it's interesting to know that she wants that done. Um, I'm keen on at least investigating him since he's the same fellow that's having all these dolls made of you and i'm not keen on leaving you here in the slightest if he's still around and possibly after you in some capacity um but Plus everything about this place and him is off i i did by the way um do you remember she had that little weird thing on her neck that that disappeared Mm -hmm. Oh, the imp in. thing. Yeah. So, um, after it disappeared, you know, she said, like, oh, it's just a little, like, I think she said it was something like an illusion or something. Um, I was sensing around, and I felt the presence of um, something, um, what's the word? Um, fiendish. Fiendish, thank you. Um, the presence of something fiendish in the room, invisible. Um, but up in the the chandeliers in the room that we were just in, um, I I mean not <laughs> when there's a fiend in the room, and at least in my experience, that's not really a great sign. And also, it's we don't really know the situation here, do we? No, not really. Um, I'm certainly interested in learning more about what the Burgermeister side of this is. I actually thought we rolled initiative last week. Oh. I thought it got to that stage. We could go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I think investigating here. ESEC is a next step, but we should probably go see the um, Vistani first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Since we do know something about that, at least. Okay. I presume we want to deal with this before the festival, though. It was hinted yeah. that something happens to the children. Um, well, the children have to come to the festival. To be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we might actually learn a lot. We might learn a lot from the festival. Um, how many How many days off is that, DM? It's in the morning, the next morning. So. Oh, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, that's not a lot of time. We must um, stop the festival. I wish to go to the festival. Um, I, I like your idea of going to the Vistani camp yeah. to see if we can find this um, this girl. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. All right. We, we're going to head towards the uh, camp. Okay. Um, exiting. Um... Did someone tell you where it was exactly? I think um, Rudolph. Octavio did. Yeah. R Rudolph, okay. yeah. So uh, his directions specified to exit by the west and then follow one of the paths south into the woods. Mm -hmm. um, I believe you can all see this city map here, yes? 
Ooh, very nice. So if you take this path down, you see there's a little clearing and circle down here. Mm -hmm. I see. He, he also basically marked did mention that, that he, is where you need he to also go. did mention that he would lead the way with his nose. Huh? His bright red nose would lead the way. Ah, yes. Classic Rudolph. <laughs> Somebody can say blows, really. I hurt so much inside right now. I need to come up with like reverse inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I heard when he was a child that that he really wasn't asked to play with many other kids. Yeah, you know, they wouldn't let him too. join in the games. Yeah. Yeah, they laughed and called him names, right? That's right. Yeah. That's why he's so upset all the time. Yeah. Now look what happens. Yeah. Releasing tigers onto people, dropping dangerous animals. Just down like the chimneys. song. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you, you head out and uh, down a small footpath, winding through the woods. Oops. We'll have Sorry to go first, right? I think that. Makes sense, yeah. Sarif is a little frog inside someone's hood right now. Oh my gosh, him. is he still a frog I in got your him. hood? No, no, no. He turned back in Fiona's room. Yes. And he turned back into the just as we mom. were leaving the house, he can oh, rip it. Ah, I see. Yeah. Or turns into something super strong and fierce. Yeah. Like a turtle. Like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Vicious little fuckers. Yeah, now he's just hanging out in my hood. Nice. All righty then. So, revealing a little area for you guys right now. I'll Ooh. describe it in a moment. This is fun. Yeah. Oh, do, 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 do. <gasps> Horsies. I know. There are. There are Can many we... horses around here, in fact. Yeah, we'll um, take a horse so the woods part here, revealing a expansive clearing. An expansive clearing. A small grass-covered hill with low houses stands here. Um, there are houses built into the sides of the hill, in fact. Uh, fog obscures the details, but you can see that these buildings feature elegantly carved woodwork and have decorative lanterns hanging from their sculpted eaves. Atop the hill above the fog is a ring of wagons that surround a large tent with a column of smoke pouring through a hole in the top. The tent is brightly lit from within. Even at this distance, you can smell the odors of wine and horses that emanate from this central area. Right. Kind of see a little bit better. Can't see in the tent, but... So, Marie, is there a way that we should approach them so they know that we're not here to, I don't know, release a saber-toothed tiger? I mean, the way you approached the Vistani tank camp I was a part of was fairly nonchalant. I Hello! Yes, we, we were invited. Saloon. Give me patience. <laughs> Hello, everyone! Hello up there! Um, so as you're approaching down the road path to about this point, you see outside um, there is a, what seems to be a male elf. He has dark skin and black hair. Um, it's, a, it's a different type of elf. I don't know if you've encountered a dusk elf before hmm. in this, hmm. but um, yeah, so it has a sort of darky, dark, oh my God, dark, darker, <laughs> Uh, facial features like um, but not quite as dark as a drow but sort of dusky ashy complexion with absolutely jet black hair um, so it's it's a, features that are a bit unusual um, to elves and uh, he is wearing leather armor and a green cloak and longbow around his shoulder and he steps up and says you there what yeah. business do you have here? I am just Waldo Tocaremo La Tomba del Fuego Santa Maliba Zagatega, the Jote de Sari Cruz de la Rosa. And I do a long bow. Put my head okay. back on. 
and uh, my friends and I um, are just interested in visiting the camp. For what purpose? We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge, if that's all right. Might have some business for you guys. All right. You're looking for the, the leader of the camp? Mm-hmm. Right. One moment, please. Well, that would be uh, Luvash. He's up in the tent. Okay. But um, he's been drinking since dawn, so. Great. Oh. Be um, careful. Be careful. Is, is there someone else we should be speaking to if he's incapacitated? Well, I think Aragal's up there with him. He's a little more even-handed, but... Uh... Is this fellow often drink? All day long? <laughs> These last couple days, yeah. I take it he's the one missing a child. Hmm. Disappeared. Oh, okay. That's uh -huh. why we're here. You know something about her? Only that we heard she was missing, and we wondered if we could lend our services to finding her. Well, I can tell none of I can tell you this: none of us have slept much the past couple days with this. Well, with this going on, so. If you can find her, we'd all be quite grateful. Where was she last seen? No, no, no we should talk to the person who's yeah, in charge, right? We'll, we'll go up and speak to the father and um, get the details. Um, thank you for your help. He just nods. What was his name again? He didn't I, give you a name. I don't think he gave no. it. I, no. No one gives names. I'm so particular about giving my name and no one ever answers me. What is wrong with people here? You're a different breed. I, you I know. Gave a name, the leader. I thought you gave a name for the leader. Oh, the name no, was... Lubash. Uh, Lubash. Lubash. What was the second name? I, like, sort of got it. Aragal? Aragal. Aragal. Okay. All right, so we'll head towards the the tent in the center, then. Okay. And so... just a quick question. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, would it be... Um... I, I presume the Vistani camps are friendly with one another. Would it be bad for me to mention I'm from another one, or is it more of a... Uh, I, I'm aware of the dynamic. You haven't had many dealings before. Um, you have... Uh, your camps didn't interact a lot. Um, okay. there, were there were occasions when there was a group that had traveled through the land and had um, sort of stopped to take a bit of refuge with yours but they mostly stayed with the elders talking um you didn't socialize with them very often but it was always friendly um there's a cool. sort of unspoken bond between them so yeah okay here. awesome thank you sorry mm -hmm. okay we head towards the uh, center tent mm -hmm. okay um there are a number of casks of wine sitting near the entrance here you can see from the inside as you approach you hear whoosh, crack of a whip followed by the howls of what sounds to be a young man there are three sputtering campfires inside the tent filling it with smoke through the haze you see six figures laying on the ground in cushions and uh, on others on just areas of dead grass within the tent. There's a barely conscious shirtless teenager hugging the central tent pole, his wrists bound with rope and his back streaked with blood. An older, larger man in studded leather armor lashes the young man with a horse whip, causing him to scream again. Standing in the bigger man's shadow is a third man also clad in studded leather. Easy, brother, he says to the whip-wielding brute. I think Alexei has learned his lesson. And the, the big man wheels around. Ugh! Damn it, Argyll. I'll show you a lesson. Worthless sons of bitches can't find damn girl in the woods. Ugh. Um, excuse Wait, me. and he looks out to you. Well, who's this? Um... We mean you no harm. Um, hoping to 
talk to you. Oh, yeah. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, come in. All right, yeah. Gesture's uh, inside the tent. Get around. Um, walk in. Okay. Yeah, we'll go in. You see the uh, thinner one who admonished the leader kind of slink back into uh, near the entrance and sit himself on a barrel, cross his arms and watch you. Two, you see a dwarf and a, um, a halfling also dressed in leathers uh, sort of tie, uh, untie this, uh, the um, Alexi who was bound to the center pole and kind of rush him out of the tent as Luvash starts kind of stumbling around. And, uh, um, hey, are you hungry? Uh, some wine. Yeah. How about some wine? That's, uh, we appreciate your Find a cushion. Sit down. And he, uh, without listening for a response, just goes and <laughs> um, pulls out what looks to be a little firkin, so a small barrel, sets it up and sort of knocks out the bung and begins to fill what seems to be a pitcher filled with wine. Okay. Thank um, you for your hospitality. Yes. Um, if, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what was uh, what was the boy's crime? Well, he was the one on watch when my my little girl wandered off you're not supposed to let them out of your sight not the children now with the wolves and stuff in these woods how old is she she's nine nine years old what's her name arabelle um you see sir we actually um we have friends of your uh brethren at the camp near sir pool they heard of your daughter going missing and suggested that we might be able to assist you with your search. The word made it that far already, huh? Yeah. We'll take the wow. boy with us as a guide. What'd you say? Sorry. We'll take the boy with us as a guide. One he gave lashings to. <laughs> we may have a way to get information out of him if that's what you're struggling with. Well, with the... Uh... No, he was forthcoming. That was punishment. Probably won't be much use to you now. <laughs> um, Bet he could barely walk after that. Serves him right. If you don't mind, could you tell us a little bit more about the details of when your daughter went missing? I'm sorry if it's painful for you, but the more we know, the more we can help. Well, she... Yeah, she was talking about it. it was it was a it was a hot day and humid and muggy. And she wanted to go wash some of her clothes over in the stream. And she sometimes sneaks off because she wants to go swimming. And but you know, the, someone always is supposed to be following those kids when they do that. You know, and he said he let her go, walk off on her own. And then when he went to the stream to go look for her, God. How long ago was this exactly? <sighs> a day and a half. Maybe. What I don't know. What time of day is it now? Uh, it's about, it's g coming on mid-afternoon now um, for you guys well we wish to start straight away and look to the others mm -hmm. <clears throat> fetch the boy at least Marys, will you be able yeah. to fix him up yeah. as long as he can speak that's all i need he kind of he you notice that he has um taken this pitcher of wine and is has a bunch of glasses in his hand but is now just drinking from the pitcher seemingly for, forgetting that he was going to pour you all glasses um sure and he looks back <laughs> to the center pole where it's like where did, wait where the hell did he go um no oh, whatever 
You have the makings of a man who would really like to relax, if he could. May I help you with that? What? I have something better than wine. I think maybe it will help you. Relax a bit. Drugs. Jesus. Are you a dealer? Like, what is this? <laughs> better than wine. Uh, it, it just strikes me that the, it, the mood in the camp might be a little better if you were able to relax a bit. We will definitely find your daughter. We're very good at that. Well. Boy, relax. Oh, well. If you say so, I suppose. Here, and I, like, make a pipe with the... Uh, what's going on with my screen? <laughs> Strange things. You're, you're uh, phasing into a different dimension. I guess. Uh, I no. pack a... Pack uh, black sap into a pipe. I light it and I said, take okay. a long hit from this. As you are about to take, as you're taking it out of your pouch, you feel a gloved hand on your wrist. Oh no, it's... Uh... And behind your shoulder, you see the figure that was perching on the barrel before has snuck up behind you without so much as a sound. Uh, let's, let's, for, let's forgo the substances for now. Put it back in the pouch. Are you sure? He might just start whipping someone else. Do it. And you feel a slight point in your back, right behind what you would think your kidney is. Oh, all right. You know, um, it appears that I am out of what I thought I had to offer. I am so sorry. Well, I'm not out of wine, so. We will get on finding your daughter straight away and hopefully bring you some peace of mind. He kind of slumps against the center pole and just... <sighs> yeah. Arabelle. Damn it, Alexi! <sighs> he tries to get angry, but it seems at this point the exhaustion, the anger, the drunkenness, none of that. They're all competing against each other and none of them can take hold of his brain at the moment. Do you have uh... anything of your daughters? A toy? A doll, a blanket, whatever. He kind of, and you hear the other, the thinner man. And what would you hope to accomplish with this then? Mage? We have a druid with us. I surmise correctly. We have a druid with us. Interesting. Where is the mangy, f the mangy one then? Point into my hood. <laughs> More slimy nice. than <laughs> Ah, shape changer. Not the vicious type. Hmm. I take it he's taken his dagger away from me. I was going to do something, yes. but we'll forget. Mm, we'll, we'll. Yes. He was, as, as soon as you started putting it back in your pouch, you hurt. You you felt it go. The point leave. You're back, and you heard a... It's it lucky I'm in a good mood. Energy. That dagger was going to be mine. <laughs> Should we perhaps take this conversation yes. outside? Let me... Yes, I think that's best. Brother, I think you should get some sleep. We'll All take right. this Alexi guy is with us as well. You're really keen Wait. on that. No! God damn it! Brother, and brother... Rest. We'll talk more of this outside, yes? Because mm -hmm. he motions all of you out. Right. If I may, before we leave, sir, when your daughter returns, I, I can speak on first-hand experience, it's not fun to come home to a drunk parent. So if you could maybe ease on the wine for your daughter's return. <sighs> she would appreciate it. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Um, Claire, hmm. do you think that there's perhaps some sort of prayer that we could offer up to Saloon for his well-being or peace during this time? Is that worth offering to this man? How lucid is he right now? Um, so with 
so Mary rolled a 16 on her persuasion. You see then he kind of gets a little bit introspective, slumps further against the pole and kind of slides down. He's now almost sitting um, in a, you know, there's a little bit of blood where, you know, under where he's sitting from where the uh, whipping was taking place. And he's just kind of looking into the, looking into the picture and looking around and looks um, maybe on the border of weeping or passing out or, you know, some combination um, of both. So he is losing lucidity rather quickly. Okay. Maris would like to try to offer some sort of I was going to ask, sort of on that subject, when you raised that question, um, I was going to turn to Argol and ask him, does your brother pray at all? Does he follow a deity of any sort? <laughs> mm, I'm afraid here in Barovia, all our gods have abandoned us. Hmm. And if you would like to, Maris, yeah, I'm more than happy to help you. Um, I'm just not sure he's terribly receptive in this moment. Well, in that case, Maris kind of starts to sidle out of the tent, but mm -hmm. to herself is whispering yeah. a silent prayer. Your we'll willingness to help is noted, but I'm quite sure he won't remember. Well... Not sure that really matters in the end. Um, do you perhaps have any details that you could fill in that he maybe in his um, drunkenness might have uh, been remiss in including? Or not including, rather. Hmm. Well, Alexi he's a good boy, really. And he's a smart one, too, because... I know that he would occasionally take the young girl all the way up to Lake Tsarovich. She's a good swimmer, you see. Natural in the water. If Luvash found out, Alexei, well, he'd be drugged behind at least one horse for letting her go so far, you see. He would certainly not survive that encounter with Lubash. He wisely kept his mouth shut and endured the lash for just letting her sneak off. Uh, you see how that worked? She asked you a question and you answered it. No need for anybody to stick a knife in your kidney. Goodness gracious. Next time something like that, you have the opportunity to do something like that, I suggest you take it. If you how dare you, sir? How dare you? How dare you draw a knife on me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you think he's withholding information, there might be something I can do along with it, or my brother. Um, maybe us talking with him would be a good idea. Um, uh, actually, can I clarify and, something? Sure. Yeah, um, so is here. he saying that Alexei sometimes would take Arabelle up to the lake, or that this time he did? He would he he would occasionally do that. Okay, so yeah. not necessarily, but we don't necessarily know for sure that that's what happened in this case. This okay. is just some yeah, that's okay. just some Thank information you. he was giving you. Yep. I heard what just Waldo said. What did you say, Panda? And we will resolve these in. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I basically said that um, if he has been withholding information, uh, it would be maybe wise to allow myself and my brother to have words with this gentleman who's had the lashings um, to see if we can get any more info and okay. to make sure he's being truthful that he doesn't actually know where she went. Um, so uh, you... Right, he will nod to you in a moment and then he squares up to you, Jeswaldo, and kind of looks you up and down it says you are in our territory now and as far as I'm concerned what you were drawing from your pouch is poison my brother poisons himself enough as it is 
Well, you're perfectly welcome to your opinion. However, pulling a knife on me in order to get me to, to do something, you get that one for free. And the next time you draw a blade, you will learn why I am the greatest swordsman you will ever have the good fortune to meet, or in your case, the bad fortune to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are amusing. I pulled the blade because you did not do what I told you the first time. You needed prodding. Well, maybe I'll have the opportunity to prod you back. Okay, just Do as I say, and there'll be no need. Yes, I care little. Where my authority is in question. Yes, uh, I care little out the, of you two who has the bigger cock. I'm more interested in finding this child. It comment. She just where... says, "Well, yeah, he definitely doesn't respect you, so maybe." Where was Alexi? <laughs> Uh, he's probably taking him to the leader of the, to the leader of the elves. Has some healing abilities. Um, are the elves with you? Yes. You see these houses built around here. Mm -hmm. It's their old homes. Okay. We've only come here, well, somewhat recently. But they've been here for centuries, I'm told. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'd love to check in with him briefly, um, just to confirm a couple of things about his experience the day that Arabelle went missing. By um, all means. I would but, like... Oh, go ahead. But, but remember, if something happened other than what Alexi told in the tents and if it gets out to the rest of the camp you will have signed his death warrant I would not put him in such a position maybe we question Sorry. him alone then Sorry, Liz. is this man telling us everything he knows about this are you trying to be insightful about his I am. statements. All right, yeah, go I, ahead. I was, and... I was just about to say, I, I'm, I'm wanting to question him more. So Liz, go ahead. Liz and has got separate insight. Checks. Liz has got something to say. Keep cutting her off. Well, I was just going to ask if the merge, like the merging of the two communities, has been somewhat peaceful and amicable, or if it's been, has it been an easy transition joining into this pre-existing community? Hmm. They are defeated people. It was easy to absorb most of them. Interesting. No yeah. husks. No husks, no. None at all, in fact. Um, I'd love to head on down to wherever, uh, he may or may not have indicated where this house is, that we might find the leader and Alexei. Okay. Uh, just for the record, um, Jeswaldo wrote a six on his inside check. And so did Marie. So I like the idea that Jeswaldo and Marie turn, look at each other, look at him, and just shrug, and they're like, eh. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. all right. <laughs> um, exactly. Perfectly exactly. legitimate. I meant to pull these up a little bigger. This is the guy who you're talking to right now. No, that's, no, 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 that's Jeswaldo. I know, right? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. And this is the guy who was, uh, who you left in the tent. Uh, he looks perfectly honest. My no. goodness, <laughs> you've never seen a more honest face. He has a goatee. It means he must be evil. So the guy at the top, the one who's left, he's the one we're currently talking to. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, that's uh, Aragol. His name is Urgol. Aragol. 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 Sorry, Steven I hear it. Terrible. That's the big Aragal. bad evil guy. And have I ever heard anything of, of him from the other camp? Potentially his relationship. Status. Maybe you've heard of his nose. <laughs> That's rude. Um, <laughs> Leave his nose alone. Make a nose. um. <laughs> make a general intelligence check to see. Just flat intelligence. Yes. As opposed to curvy intelligence. 
Am I good at these? I can't remember. Am I, am I good at these? Oh, it didn't roll. Uh, sorry. That's fine. Oh, oh wow. 21. <laughs> I'm smart. <laughs> Indeed. You remember hearing his name spoken in the camp as, you know, uh, that Argal being the leader, the forceful personality of this camp, but, or sorry, Luvash is the forceful personality, the leader, the one who um, controls by force. Argal is the true power within his younger brother that truly holds the power and He's the brains um, and the dagger. Uh, the the uh, half elf from the other camp, Alenka, spoke Bitch. often Sorry. of him hmm. in a positive sense. In an ad, in a sense of admiration, and was in fact you have in fact seen the two of them together on at least two occasions that he visited the camp. We got big got along sus. very well. Big sus. Much better okay. than just well done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no doubt. Uh, Look at the size of his nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so judgmental. Um, so our character <laughs> to Alexei. Yes. He will he will point down towards this bottom home here. Yep. Inside it. Um is a humble home. You see their table has been a bit cleared off and you see inside this gentleman leaning over the young human form. He is face down on the table, seems to be unconscious, and this figure seems to be working some type of magic over him. Um. By his side is um, a spell book that he is looking to and I'm casting over him. Sleight of hand. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm Illusion. Just... Um, he has a, you notice a light <laughs> is shining from his hand as he's inspecting. And then he's also, he has a book open. He is also rubbing some ointment over the wounds. I hope it's like I reading the book and you just yoink it from his hands. Like <laughs> I'm that good. I'm not that good. <laughs> I hold my hand up and whisper to the group, don't disturb him. Alright. We'll hang back and watch, I guess. Alimus, do you recognize this sort of magic he's performing? Uh, I don't know. Do I? Do I, do I hear the words and recognize them? Uh, go ahead and make an arcana check. While he is doing that, is anybody watching us from outside? Are we being followed? Um, make a perception check there. Oh, it's a oh, so 22 what kind of on my day car. Is it? Okay. I this... rolled a 14 on my perception, just for later reference. So you walked in on him. It seems to be casting a suggestion spell. Interesting. Isn't he unconscious? Um, he seemed to be. He was lying face down on the table. I'm just gonna watch and observe. Okay. Again, he has that book open. And now he is simply um, applying some ointments uh, to the outside. And he will look up to you as you. And to answer your question, Sean, um, you will see a couple other who seem to be dusk elves, all men in leather armor, outside, um, who were watching your approach, looking at you, but allowed you to enter without. Any sort of issue. So, and all, and all, just as a note, all of the dusk elves you have seen have been men. Okay. And Any... the one, go ahead, Mary. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, the suggestion spell. Um, 
obviously only Alimus knows because he, he rolled, but the the words that he was saying for the suggestion, were they understandable to any of us? He was, you could make a perception check, but he was, it seemed to be whispering into his ear. Okay. I'm guessing you and he will look in your direction now after applying these and then kind of motion. So what were you saying, Jade? Um, yeah, so obviously if I was listening to the actual perception check, uh, the the spell, would my, Arca my Arcana role be enough to know what the words he was suggesting? No, you saw the other components of the spell. Um, you were able to recognize it as the casting of the spell. The part you didn't see was when he leaned down and covered a hand to uh, whisper into his ear. So, you'll hear. He is dreaming of far off places now. Come in. Oh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is it possible for him to awaken? Yes, in a moment. The poultice can sting quite a bit at first, but... Hmm. My my friend Maris and I might be able to take the sting out of some of his wounds. Yes. Indeed. I would like to see this. Then he steps away from the table and closes the book next to him, tucks it under into his robe, and then gestures forward to uh, the body. Do you want to do it, or do you want me to do it? Um, well, I mean, I would just cure his wounds. Is that what you were planning on doing? I have lay on hands. Oh, then go ahead. Okay. Um, I'll uh, go up to him. Yeah, you save your spell slot. Um, I'll go up and I uh, start. I have no idea how many hit points he has. Um, how how bad does he look? Um. He doesn't seem to be a particularly, I mean, he's a, a teenager, really. So he didn't have a lot of hit points to start with, but yeah. he's looking towards the end of them. Uh, but you don't think you would need to expend a great deal of healing in order to. Okay. Um, I'll start with eight, I guess. Okay. You will see the wounds completely close. Yeah, With a little whoop, shiny sort of moonbeam-esque light. And you will, he, you will see um, behind Casimir's eyes will be will grow wide. Casimir? Is I think they told you his name. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> Maybe not. Is... Do you not have true healers here? Not with that kind of power. No. Mm. We brew potions, we have poultices. This magic. Where does it, where does it come from? Where have you learned it and who has imparted it upon you? Look over at Maris. Well, we divine most of our powers from our goddess. The Night Mother, does she speak to you? Yes. Yes. I mean, just hear me out. Um, and and Marie kind of like looks towards uh, Claire and Maris, uh, kind of like raising her eyebrows a little bit. She's like, maybe you could show him some of your other abilities um, outside. You know, out give this poor man some privacy. He's just been through a lot. No, no. Stay inside. The rest of this camp are. Well, I wouldn't trust them so quickly. We don't. Um, what Good. did you suggest to the young man anyway, by the way? Hmm. I need to question I suggested he lay still, clear his mind of his recent lashing, hmm. and dream of a beautiful shore. Is he being truthful? Well, I believe Go ahead him. inside him. <laughs> it's him. Seems to be. Okay, thank you. You can see you studying him a bit, and he will say, 
I have no healing abilities like I have just witnessed. Uh, it was the least I could do to take his pain away somewhat while applying a poultice. You are magi like me. Yes. My name is Casimir. I'm a I'm just Waldo Tokar. I'm sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> Um, Maybe just just the one. Maybe just the but one. the other, they're all important, Claire. No one will ever remember them. It, it, they, it. I barely remember them. Yeah. We spend more time together. By the end of this particular adventure, I'm sure you'll all know my names. Mm, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> so it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Casimir. Um, I'm Claire. Um, got. Maris Jeswaldo of the very long name, Mari, uh, Linus, and I pull back my hood and say, and sorry here. Um, <laughs> um, if you don't mind me asking, um, what's your, what's the source of your distrust of the camp? Uh, you've, and he just, well, Look, this is the work of their leader. You were absorbed forcefully or willingly? There is nowhere else for us to go at this point. Hmm. We are... We are the living dead. The last memories of a race soon to perish. I hope I'm not being insensitive, but I noticed that there are no women and children that I've seen. Did they escape? Have they gone somewhere else? If it's not too painful, I don't want to disrespect their memory in any way. Or... We fought invaders from this land centuries ago. And for that mistake, the winner, the ruler now, killed every woman and child and left us to remember them Shit. for all the centuries that we live. You see, the last of our kind, there will never be more. I'm sorry to hear. I'm so sorry. Something has caused me to be a bit more forthcoming than I should be, I think. You are obviously not from here, and somehow you have brought the Night Mother's magic back into this realm. Who are you? Well, as it and why seems do you to come be, here? As it seems to be a point of interest to basically everyone we talk about, we Oof. came from beyond the mists. Um were brought here through powers we don't understand um but we're here and we plan to do what we can to i guess assist those that we come into contact with which brings us to a point did you ever know or speak or spend time with the daughter of the camp's leader no, no, well. Hmm? well yes What of it? Can you tell us anything more about her? Um, we got some information, but precious little. What does she look like? What are her interests? Oh, yeah, she's a young nine-year-old girl. She's, but she's grown a bit faster than most her age. Long, spindly legs, you see. Little knobby knees knocking around under the dress when she runs. Though fiercely wow. coordinated, she is. I hear she likes to swim. She's a f wonderful swimmer, yes. More importantly, where's her mother? Or who was her, her mother? Her mother is no longer with us. Okay, but who is she? Where is she gone? That could be important. She died when young Arabel was a child. It's about this. Same time Luvash took to drinking a, drinking a barrel a week of wine. 
Oh, he'd be so much happier if he just had black sap. You really overestimate the effectiveness of that stuff. You should try it, Claire. What does she die of? Sickness. She Death. Was... <laughs> Sickness. It was a difficult time. It was a difficult time delivering her. We nearly lost her. She was frail for oh, she a died year, year and a half. Pardon? Did she ch die at childbirth or afterwards? No. It was, she lasted for a year, a year and a half maybe, before a fever took her in the night. Hmm. What was the sickness? I see you are a learned man with herbalism. Hmm. It is not one I'm familiar with. Nor have I seen it since. We cremated the body to make sure nothing spread, and so far none of us have been afflicted. Were there any unusual physical changes to her mm. that you noticed? Yes, explain the symptoms. Maybe I may help. Well, she grew pale. Just, out of, just, just wanted to make sure. We're talking about her mother, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, quite pallid. Redness in the eyes, intensely so. Every vessel was was pounding. It seemed, perhaps due to the cough too. And it was nothing. Nothing we could do would bring her back to health. Have I got any idea what it could be? Go ahead and make a medicine check. Ah, not my strongest suit. Four. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, no, it doesn't. Uh... Maris, you might know. Yeah, I have. Could I also make a medicine She had a chocolate allergy. <laughs> Go ahead and make the check, yeah. Okay. She died of death. <laughs> I think she, that was She it. died of the sad. <laughs> Yay, dirty 20. Nice. Ooh. And ah. with a 20, um, you think there is, a, there is a particular parasite, a parasitic worm, um, that is, uh, can sometimes be contracted um, in the warmer jungles of Chult. Sometimes it's spread through uh, travelers and uh, um, and uh, mostly through the brackish water, but uh, it can be occasionally spread between person and person. The way he describes it and when he goes on, the weakness, the lingering fevers and occasional seizures and just blood red eyes uh, makes, makes you think of that. Um, does, how's does how's she the mention kid it? doing, by the way? Does Maris, do you, do you relate this to the group? I think, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, okay. that's, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he, he, sure. will say, he, will, he will say that he has never heard of this before as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you wouldn't have been if you've not been from outside the mist. Well, what time is it now, the M? Yeah. You guys are. Right. It's only been yeah. a little while that you've been talking. It's still about mid afternoon. Okay. Can I the gentleman awake? The... I did want to ask the the boy a question, Alexei. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What's that, Panda? Oh, is he awake? Yeah. Yeah. yeah has he has he woken up? Um, no, but he he you he gestures. You're welcome to wake the boy. Okay. He seems quite fine now. I'd like to gently. Hello, hello. And you'll kind of. Duh! No, I didn't. I. Oh, hey. oh, God. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Who it's are right. you? My name is Claire. These are my friends. Um. He, he looks towards Casimir. Casimir. They're fine. Be um, honest with them. Now, Alexei, I know that you told Luvash that you didn't know where she might have gone. Arabelle. Um, but I know from a source that 
you've perhaps brought her up to the lake before, and I'm not going to tell anyone. I promise His eyes go you, wide. I promise you, on my life and on my goddess, I will not reveal that. I'm not looking for you to get hurt. All right? We just want to find her. Is there a chance that she went to the lake? Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Can I aid with that? What do you? What would you like to say in order to aid? I'm just gonna that? look. You need to be honest here, boy, because you won't last long here otherwise. Okay. Well, uh, twenty. Not that she needed cool. it. But... Twenty. He <laughs> looks back to um, Casimir and then to you. She wanted a head start this time. It said, oh, oh, oh. she said she wanted to race me there. She's, and so I gave her a head start and we were running and <laughs> I pretended to trip over a log and she ran across the road north to Velaki towards the lake. And I was, I waited five seconds. I waited five seconds and then she was gone. I went to the lake. I looked around. I found I, I, I couldn't find her. Right. Didn't that fellow he charmed say something about the lake? Um, He said that there was a man um, who went fishing out there. The lake is dangerous. There are wolves around there, but there's a man. I think his maybe name was Bluto or something like that. He goes yeah. fishing out there anyway. Um, could um. I'm gonna ask Alexei, um, could, can you describe very, very clearly where this last spot where you saw her was? I have a better idea, show us. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could be a hero. I don't, if, 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 if Luvash sees me leave the camp, I- We've already told him that you're gonna escort us. Uh, um, we'll tell okay. your brother. Your brother seems to have bigger balls than these, the other one. We'll protect you. Shh, don't say stuff like that. It's, it's dangerous. If you would be willing, we'll make sure that you are protected. I don't think he has a choice. His life's forfeit unless we come back with his child. Maybe we come back and tell him that you found the child. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Um, he will nod and say, okay, um, just let me grab my cloak and stuff from my hovel quick, from my tent. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll just, I'll be quick. Okay. We'll go and tell the brother. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, I would like to accompany you while you go gather your things. Make sure you stay safe. Sh sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll be quick, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep a very close eye and make sure no one intercepts him, if there's a, I, a possibility. Does anybody have a spell that helps us find something? That'd be really, really handy. Not my kind of magic, friend. Nor me. Well, it is me, but I don't have that spell. I look to the <laughs> other mage. You all think of it. And you'll... Do you have the spell? Locate object or locate person or anything? Well... If you did, you would have found her by now, I guess. I forget I asked. Um, he will think and he will page through his book a bit and he'll say, I, I've tried it once, but uh, I, I can locate object, but its range is limited. Well, that could work, though. True. Could you teach it to me? Um, with the time. Oh, would you come with us? Hmm? Or could you come with us if, if we could go to the exact place that Alexei knew that she disappeared in those five seconds you cast in that area? Way more likely to find her with your help. And then he would owe you both a great deal. I could perhaps do this, but I would ask something in return. I would even teach you 
everything I can, mage. Ask but I need to know one thing from all of you. Now that you've come through the mists, do you tend to stay? From what I hear, we don't have a choice. But no, we don't intend to stay. You don't have a choice while the master lives. Mm -hmm. So as you can guess, there's only one way out of this shithole. Would everyone be able to leave if the master died? Please, softly. But I would I would think so. Because you know the land we the land we come from has many elves. Perhaps perhaps this is fortuitous. All all of our kind are ashes scattered to the wind, burned at Strahd's pyres on the eve of his victory, except for one powerful mage who Strahd took a liking to. Who would that be? Kept as a consort for a while before he grew tired of her. My sister, There was a, uh, the Ernst also mentioned a crazy mage atop a hill, correct? I thought that was a dude. I, d I can't remember if there was mm. more detail of him. I just remember there was a crazy mage. Um. Now that I've only heard stories of the flashes off by the mountain, of the battle of Strahd and the mage at the parapets before he was thrown off and landed in the river. Some Vistani in the Serapool camp tells a story like that, or did at one point. And um, Mary, you will remember there is someone at the Serapool camp who occasionally told that story about, um, you thought it was just garbage, but it was this guy who would say that he saw, you know, flashes and of magic yeah. all over the place up by the castle and then he finally had Strahd dead to his rights but then Strahd threw him off the edge of the castle and he plunged down into a river and you could quote it verbatim it's just one of those things yeah. that you almost don't hear anymore because it was so uh, like pedantic and just um, it was always a it, it was always a he though the mage as a, as a he yes right okay. that that's a um, seems to be a different story so Okay. What about this sister of yours? Whatever became of her? Mm. As I said, Petrina was taken as a, for a consort to Strahd himself. Uh, does he still have her? I have reason to believe that she... I know for a fact that she is buried beneath Castle Ravenloft. Her body is still there. Her spirit still lingers, has not been reborn. If I help you, would you help me seek the power to bring her back? Oh, that's a big Dude. ask. To resurrect her? I know where it can be found. Oh. Maris is definitely in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally in. Good then. I mean, if our souls don't ever leave this place, it would seem that resurrection is kind of important. You could just keep coming back to life over and over again instead of going someplace else, right? Not if you die of old age, just well known. <laughs> <laughs> and then he uh, dies of old age these days. Exactly. Um, we should probably get on trying to find Arabelle. Um, yeah, well, still I late. will come with you to where she was last seen. She carries okay. the doll with her. All right. All uh, times. If it is no fun, it is no blinksky. <laughs> Terrible things, really. All right. 
Uh, so where did Alexei go? He went off to get his stuff, right? Yeah. Mary went with him. Yeah, Mary, yeah. you'll be able to accompany him uh, easy enough. He he kind of sneaks around uh, once he sees that Luvash has passed out in that main tent. He is able to move a bit more freely. Um, as you are waiting, and he gathers his stuff after you finish up talking, um, you will see that a few more Vistani. You see a, a dwarf uh, accompanied by a human. You see what seems to be a half high elf come back out of the woods looking haggard and tired um, as if they were uh, just returning. Uh, also, it seems like search parties are beginning to return to the camp that had been sent out earlier in the day. All of them empty handed at this point. You're able to reform the party and Casimir will go with you as will Alexi to the last spot that she was seen. All right. You will notice certainly the watchful, sharp gaze of Aragal from the main tent. Always watching you. I watch right do back. This. I do a... <laughs> you see maybe the slightest glint in his eye after that. And the next time he comes to sneak upon me, I want an opportunity to roll against it. Uh, if, if they he, make he beat your passive perception. Wave. I understand. <laughs> uh, what was that? Sorry. I'd say if, if they make eye contact, she'll wave. Okay. Um, you will give the slightest nod, and you guys will be free to go. So you're heading up toward north, back mm -hmm. towards the main road that mm -hmm. you departed. Um, and there's a good point to take a break so we can dun, dun, dun. reset dun, dun, and see dun, dun. if we can find the lost Vistani girl. Cool. All right, guys, um, don't go anywhere. We're back in about five, ten minutes. No longer than ten minutes. So um, see you guys in a bit. All right. Go on, break. Great. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. For the break. <clears throat> um, so after... Uh, Having some fun in the Vistani camp, watching someone get, um, you know, lashed at a tent pole. Party is now um, questing after the lost Arabelle. They made the friend of uh, uh, a dusk elf mage who is going to use find object or locate object spell to try and help them find. They also <clears throat> have the young. Um, uh, scout helping them as well. So, you guys reach the crossroads that you came to before and the scout will lead you just off into the woods and kind of point around and say, this, this is about where um, this is about where she was. This is just where I left track of her. You'll notice you are that main road that leads west out of Velaki. It's outside the main walls, but there are some little shacks and stuff around here. And it's just around this area that he says he lost her. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask him, um, without knowing that she might have gone this far, would other scouting parties have come up this way? Well, we're not, um, we're not allowed inside the city. And a lot of us okay. try and stay away, but, um, you know, I've crossed this road plenty of times. No one's ever really given me trouble. These are mostly just fisher people up here. Uh, all right. A couple hunters. But did you search for her well. this way? Yeah. I mean, I went all the way to the lake and back. I didn't... Were you alone or? Yeah, just me. I'd stick to the woods and. <clears throat> can, uh, can you show me the exact spot that he last saw her? Like the lucky trip over. Yeah, and he will kind of go just about a hundred feet away from one of the houses and show you sort of a downed log where he pretended mm -hmm. to trip over again. Um, I'm gonna um, ask Alimus and Maris to join me at that spot since yeah. I okay. know them to have good observational skills. See if maybe they can pick up a trail while our mage friend does his maginess. <laughs> I have a um, passive investigation of 23. Do you guys think it's a good idea for us to split up? I mean... No. Right. <laughs> that might be a good way to find out we're, what we're happened to the girl, but uh, too, too for far one of off us... from one another here, right? I mean, we're, we're not like... 
going way off. Mm -hmm. right? We're still like how close is the like how close is the lake? Like all right, I will so I'm gonna pull you guys over to the map of Valaki here to kind of show. So um you guys left from d down in the bottom left mm. corner here. Right. Um, he took you up to this area, which is where they were running, and he said he lost track of her close to here. They usually Are you ran through these on the map? Yeah, I'm not yeah. seeing anything. Okay, I'm on the wrong layer. So you guys started down here. Ah, um, uh -huh. He said <laughs> these are the shacks that you were around, and he said he took her up to about here. Um, there's it shows only one tree, but the woods come a little bit closer to these houses here. There's mm -hmm. sporadic, more sporadic trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lost track of her about here. They would usually run just through the edge of the woods and then hook up with the main road that goes to Lake Starovich. Okay. Uh, if, yeah. But it is quite a while away to the lake. Mm -hmm. It is. I I will show you once more. We're gonna do some. Was it about two three hundred tours meters? here? Yeah, to uh, the road, to ish the, to the lake road. I'm gonna pull you over to a main map of Barovia here, where you can see Ooh. better. That's Ooh. exciting. Idea. It's just mm. ah. maybe half a mile further. Well, not half a mile. Maybe, maybe like uh, okay, five hundred meters or so. <laughs> so is it this this cluster of That's buildings Vallaki here? Right That's Velaki. Okay. Oh, okay. In fact, it. since we have explored this, I can mark it on your map. Ooh, exciting. Cool. Same here. That's with a this. big lake. Uh -huh. Yep. All right. Let's give up and go home, lads. Uh, <laughs> I think this might be out of our depth, if you'll pardon the pun. Um, I won't. Have won't. we have no we pardon. seen have we seen the full name or heard the full name of of uh, the leader of this particular place, yeah. Barovia, the not the leader, mm -hmm. the ruler mm. of no, we have of not like heard his the kingdom of Barovia. Yes. Strad. Oh. We we've heard the name Strad, but have we heard the full name? I know Sean knows the full yeah. name, but have we, we heard? We, the full we name? I think not. you've seen a letter. Yeah, we've seen a letter. Seen a letter with, with his full yeah. signature. Yeah, in oh, the in me? the death house, you guys found a letter that was signed to the family. Remember that they were yeah. worshiping him. In I thought it was just signed like an S. Or is that oh, me too? Was that something? Yeah. Else? I think that's what it was too. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. But, but by now, you have certainly heard the full name of Strad von Sarovich. Right. So we are pretty much searching for someone that could very well have gone into the forest or into Balaki or to the lake. Um, or she got killed by wolves, but we should try to find out as clear as possible whatever happened to her. Yeah, and this would be a good no place longer... to start. I'm looking yeah. for like no. uh, foot, footprint, foot, you know, that sort of stuff, uh, torn clothes, anything. Yeah, yeah. we had a, I had a lot of requests at the same time there in a second. I heard uh, you were talking about your passive investigation, right? Yes, you passive want to just kind of yeah. look around. Um, yeah. Sure. Um, you find, let's see. As you are looking around here, a um, it you see. Hmm, I'm trying to think of how to describe this. A live child. She's only nine. Yeah, years. no. <laughs> she sat right there. Because she was the log. survival is more the skill for tracking. Yeah, but true. Such I'll a good um, uh, with such a good roll. I haven't rolled anything. Before. Um, you you notice what, with your investigation when you're looking around, or just such a good passive. You're just looking at like, okay, we arrive here. This is where some people came through. You see some light elven or light human footprints with leather boots. You see what looks to be a litter girl's barefoot 
you know, barefoot tracks where they lead hard to say. You also notice a great presence of a much larger, heavier boot. And as you're looking and following them around, you see put under one of those boots is a large crude fish hook. Well, we may have sold who found it then. Well, there's guy on the lake, right? I'll pick up the fish hook. Well, all of these people, I mean, he just said all of, all of these huts around here are mostly fishermen, but it definitely seems worth checking around. But then we also hear that no one was coming here because of wolves, except for one fisherman. The yeah. crazy one. Oh, mm. right. Yes. Well, not, so we're, we're still by the houses, right? Yep. Where they picked up this trail? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, we do know there's this one crazy guy who does go out on the lake. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, at the very least, he could point us in the right direction. I'm beginning to think that the one crazy person other than like might be the crazy person who stole the little girl. Mm. Why don't we see if we can follow these footprints? I'm going to look yeah. for the... I'm going to follow the heavy-booted ones. Okay. Yeah. That will require a survival, survival check. Yeah. Yeah. Might, uh, Maris, you might be able mm -hmm. to help with that. Yeah. Maybe there's a frog that could help. I presume those residents of the houses there have been questioned. She looks towards um, Kazmaier and uh, Alexei. Mm, maybe not. You're muted. Yeah, Kazimir will speak <clears throat> up and says, as the boy said, we are not welcome in Valaki, and though the those outside the walls will tolerate us passing through at times, we will get no warm welcome from them. I'm trying to think in trying to think of how this locate object might work. Well, maybe she has a toy. The only thing I know to look for is the doll that she would keep. Try. Right. How far are we from the lake? It is actually yeah. about half a mile. So how okay. fast a spell? A thousand. Yeah. A thousand feet. Which is what? I cannot follow those tracks. Like three. <laughs> that was us. I tried to roll a survival. 250 meters. <laughs> oh, it's not far. Okay. We'll, um, we'll try I'm and follow the trail. A or half a trail. mile. A thousand feet is like a is yeah, 250 meters. Yeah. So. Can I still try to assist with the survival check? Or Please make a survival I mean, check. I'll, yeah, I, I mean, I'll can't. make one. I... Yeah, we'll all have to make without the druid here. We'll all have to make one. Ooh. Okay. Thirty twenty. Okay, that was a survival check. Yeah, you see um, what seems to be the uh, like a bunch of plotting about and then it looks like the the heavy booted tracks come back the way that they were um, going from. If you continue to follow them, they will lead to a very small shack on the outskirts of town. Okay. How can he know that just by looking at the boot track? I'm the, being facetious. We obviously try follow the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll follow them to the we'll shack. Straight up to the door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's gonna, what I was I was I'm assuming gonna, you were saying that when I said right. they lead to the shack. I'm, I'm then you said, gonna if you not follow them. Heavily. Clearly a red herring, guys. Let's leave it. <laughs> Hello, is anyone in there? There is no answer. Now would be a good time for the spell. I'm gonna no. just try to push the door open. Yeah. Um, there seems to be a very like a, a latch but it, it is not open there's a mm. latching mechanism on the door ah <laughs> I try to see if there's another have at it Jiswaldo pulls out his uh, thieves tools and makes a thieves tools check right go ahead and his roll expertise it. in this so I will roll acrobatics since we know that Beyond 20 has a problem with this I have rolled a 14. Okay. It is one of the most pathetically simple locks you've uh, you've encountered. In fact, you, you're kind of pulling, you realize that the, the knob doesn't really do anything. There is like a kind of lever behind the door that you're just able to, you could have done it with your dagger. You just stick it in the, uh, the crease of the door and lift the bar up and 
push in and the door opens and you are immediately assailed by the smell of fish. From the that was inside. a lot more difficult than it looked, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Is it dark in there? It is. I will whisper the words, Damihi Lux, and my star will burst into light. If you're light hiding in there, you're going to die. I'm... You see a simple table. You see what seems to be a, um, um, I don't know what it is called, but sort of a loom, but for fishing nets where someone would sit, sit and weave nets. Uh, simple workman's table. You see outside and in are racks and fish are hanging you see a bucket where um, guts from carved fish seem to be discarded but not thrown out yet for the end of the day you see no signs of life has there been a fire run a... recently or and any sign of a girl at all like a young girl um you can make investigation checks perception I'll checks search. To look around. yeah i'll yeah. search you the place search around? is there a house nearby another house there are some there. Um, I'd like to go to the closest one. Okay, about a hundred feet or so out. Yeah. Um, let's see. Twenty-one on investigation. Okay. I rolled a you twenty-three too. Claire leave, and as you guys are in, <laughs> nice, uh, Maris. You're the first one that popped up with the twenty-three. Good roll. You look about the room. Um, there is some smoke still coming off of the logs in the hearth. There okay. is it's faint signs of embers. It was burning no more than two hours ago. I will accompany you... Claire um, just to watch her back. Okay. Yep. And I will make a uh, perception check to see if anybody is watching us. And Panda, as you are looking around with the 21 more specifically, you find um, a, a chest is open and there are um, next to it, there's a, a, a stand which would perfectly contain some sort of long cylindrical object. And you see that there's a chest that is simply open, smells faintly of lake water but there's nothing in it right now. It looks like someone took their fishing tackle and left recently. Uh, but you don't find much of interest. This is a very paltry yeah. place. Do you think we should head up to the lake? Um, well, so I want to check with a neighbor um, and see who lives yeah. here. So I'm, I'm going to go up and cool. knock on the, uh, the next hut over. Great. And as a, as a note for you guys within the hut, the fish that were here, those that were here, seem to have been maybe a week old. So they are, some of them are drying out, but you don't see any fresh catches. It is all old, some of it rotten, some of it putrid, even. Uh, next door, you knock and you hear, a, uh, who's there? Uh, my name is Claire. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. I've come what? in from town. Who? from town yeah wait who sent you i the sex men no, 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 no we'll no. bring the sticks i promise we're getting we're getting them no, together no. i i just have a couple questions entirely unrelated to the festival i was wondering if you could help me um about one of your neighbors i'm i i don't know anything i i just want to know who i'll i describe the shack but uh, yeah. who lives in the shack over there x details that's Bluto's house. Ah, and have you seen him today? Maybe this morning. Look, I don't know if... Has he gone out to the lake? <laughs> He's the only one doing that these days. I Maybe. All right. Thank you for your help. I'm going to, um, as if I see the the other people being done at the house, I'm going to be like, we got to go. Uh, one more question. Have you happened to see a little girl? Um, maybe in the company of Bluto. With Bluto? Yes. No, he keeps to himself mostly. I'm I'm booking it back over to 
get everyone. I think we got to go track this guy down. Is anybody watching us, DM? Make a perception check. Yeah, it appears he's taken his fishing tackle and possibly line out. I have rolled a 16. Yeah, though they never open the door, you do see um, a white bearded gentleman sort of opening the shutters from the rear window of his home if you guys head towards the lake to sort yeah. of I'm, curiously watch. I look at him and I go, I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> Always antagonizing people. <laughs> yeah, gosh, just well though. No wonder you get knifed. It was not knifed. Okay, <laughs> pretty close. Now, uh, Casimir will say, "Did you want me to try to cast a spell when we were here? Maybe we should get um, closer to the lake first. Yeah, let's try mm -hmm. to get closer to the lake first. There's a good chance that yeah. she might have been taken up there. How much can you cast it? Well, a few times a day, but I mean, maybe, yeah, once around out. here might be good. Yeah, mm. I'm very antsy. I, 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 as you guys are having this conversation, Claire's just like slowly, sort of shuffling in oh, the direction. We're doing it of while we're lake. walking. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> oh, okay, it. Okay, good. We're walking and talking. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. So, you guys, <laughs> he was like, I thought we were gonna go to this place, and I was gonna cast the spell. So, um, you guys. Head north along the path to Lake Tsarovich. Hello. Here at the foot of a mountain nested in the misty forest is a large lake. The water is perfectly still and dark, reflecting the black clouds overhead like a monstrous mirror. Interesting. Pulled up <laughs> along the south shore are three small rowboats. A fourth boat can be seen in the middle of the lake with a lone figure sitting in it, fishing pole in hand. Did um, the casting of the spell locate anything back at the shack? I don't think we cast it, did we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We just yeah. went. Yeah, I think we decided we were going to cast it closer to the lake. Right, oh. yeah. Oh, sorry. Claire, Claire, I thought Claire, we Claire was the impatient. Then at the lake. <sighs> yes, I was deeply I'm impatient. Sorry. Um, I get antsy when kids are in trouble. Well, Excuse me, sir. Oi, oh. Pluto. You don't see any response or don't hear any response. Are there rowboats that we yeah. could row out of? Before we get in the boat, maybe we should use the spell to see if, you know, if she's close here before we go into the water. Okay, but Maris and I can untie a boat and at least get ready if we need to go out in the water. <laughs> yeah, and while that's happening, I use Thaumaturgy to be like, excuse me, sir, in the water. <laughs> you hear, nah, nah, nah. As a bird, a few birds get scared from the trees nearby as your voice booms out over the water and a few <sighs> ripples go out towards it. You listen as the ripples travel, dissipate. You see him cast another line out, sit idly, but not respond. The two of you are able to find a, a rowboat, it, untie it. It seems to be okay. lake worthy, um, as it were. Waiting on the cast. Right, so Casimir would be the one okay. to cast that. And he mm -hmm. will, um, indeed, he will uh, pull out um, a uh, little piece of wood um, and um, start to wave his hand in a circle around it and you hear Amnetis mi revelatis and you will sit there for a second and look the twig around and wave it above his head and you'll say I don't see the doll what's the range He's on your spell to locate it about a thousand feet, 300 meters. Will that go out to the center of the lake where the dude is? Um, to them, I. Yes. Okay. 
Maris? Ah, uh, shit. I mean, I'm ready to row out and say hey. <laughs> you go check out this dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, row, row. Your right. <laughs> Should we all go? Who, who, guess... How many can we fit in the boat without a capsizing? Probably about the five of you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> So I'm going to place in the water. For us. This would be a really great time to have a character who can breathe underwater. Oh, wait, he went oh, camping. Wait. Oh, dear. <laughs> I, I gently place Sour even in the water so he can swimmy swim. Um, Got it. He's a little frog, though, right now. Right. So he, <laughs> like, he oh, can't swimmy even? swim very fasty fast. So. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> I'll dunk him in the water to make him happy and then stick him on the edge of the boat. Oh, he's like I the threw the fish. chicken off the lift, the cliff, so he can fly away. <laughs> he will look around many, for a bird to feed as into. many mosquitoes as he can find, and unfortunately, that's all he's able to do. All right. um, we'll row ourselves out. Okay, as you launch, you about as you guys are just getting into the boat here, um, you see the figure move out in the lake, and just is moving almost in a almost like an automaton just without looking you can see almost a glazed over expression as it as he reaches down into the boat pulls out what seems to be a large bundle looks over the edge of the boat and just lets it splash in front of might him. it be a child-sized bundle it it could contain a child probably i row faster <laughs> And okay, not. who do we have rowing the boat at the moment? Um, I think myself and Maris. Yeah. All right, go ahead and make an athletics check, the two of you. Oh, so how close are we to his boat? About four hundred. Fuck feet. me! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I did a. I have a natural one. Ah uh, no, a five. <laughs> have oh, you ever rowed a time. boat before? Have I you? don't do water. <laughs> You guys see the 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 um, pair struggling to get the boat going. Uh, you see some of you're kind of like just turning in a big circle right now as the two can't quite figure out how to do this. Can I? Can and I you, see, you see a, yeah, you see bubbles coming from the lake near the other boat. In the middle. Look! Look what you've done! Who can swim? Who can row? <laughs> Looks down at very heavy dress. I, I can't do it. I, I can try and help Ro. Can, can How do we add a dive? Can Saurev dive? Saurev is a frog. Yep. This would be Sarif a perfect so opportunity for Saurev. Yeah. Um, I have a... This has to be an athletics check? Yes. Uh, Swimming is pure athletics. There's no... Um, can, yeah. What about rowing? Yeah, What's can rowing? we pass Also our athletics. <laughs> right. I, uh, I begin... I remove my shield. I take off my sword and I remove my boots anything that is heavy or anything like that and i am going yeah. to try to swim okay i uh, try and take over some of the things 16 yeah. you get the boat going a bit in the right direction um sean are you have uh, going to, try to 12 swim it out you uh um Panda, you are working one of the rows and you feel like you're making progress. You're about keeping up with Jezwald. Is there anyone who wants to um, take up an oar and try and correct this course? Yeah. Just I while assume I can't try again. Unfortunately yeah. not. No. Elimus, did you like to try? Elimus, oh, DM, yeah. may, I, may I use my inspiration Nine. to try and um, make another roll? You may. I dang it! I was just about to try and give actual inspiration to Alimus. Can I do that after he rolled? Can I do that? Oh, Bardic inspiration! Not after he rolls, um, but in this in this case, um, um, it depends. Did you mean? Did you were you trying to say that and just didn't get in in there? I couldn't. That's what it sounded yeah. like. Without cutting over are, Sean, she couldn't have done it. Yeah, which is fine. I, I I'll, I'll take that. I get we were we were all shouting at each other. So so what what's do you happening? say? How do you inspire their, uh, um, Mary? Stop being a pussy, um. Elimus. <laughs> I'm assuming you're inspiring just Waldo because Elimus is not doing a very good job with the ore. <laughs> Well, that was, I was going to try and, 
I, my okay so if i'm being completely serious all right. i genuinely my inspiration was going to go towards alimus and it was going to be that we were trying to race jeswaldo because i wanted to get there before jeswaldo did okay go ahead that's fine <laughs> So I'm using my point of inspiration to uh, roll again on athletics to try to yep. get to the bubbles. Mm. Come on. And you and Elimus. Oh, oh dirty 20. Roll. Nice. And Elimus, you can roll a d6 to add to that. 12 total. So you guys keep up with each other. You're about neck and neck getting there. And you get to a point where you see this guy. Now he's just cast he just casts out another thing and you see bubbles bubbling up from below you are there you have made it and bubbles are still coming up from um below. as we're rowing out as a precaution yeah. i'd like to shed my armor and in case i need to dive in after um just waldo okay yeah and just waldo you reach at the same about the same time as the rowboat you reach the uh, you are already in the water, but you reach it about the same time. The oh, bubbles. All right. Well, I will attempt to dive down to find okay whatever Make is making the bubbles. Perception check with disadvantage as you are underwater. It is very dark. Uh, can I assist by putting my staff underwater? That's what I was actually wanting to do. And use light? Sure. Yeah. You can certainly... Um... It's not going <laughs> I've already to got light now. cast on it. but I've already rolled a four, so... Um, well, yeah. I'll I'll take a look as well. I'm gonna just like dunk my head underwater and try to okay. take a look around. Make a um, perception check. I'm Ooh, funny. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yep, with that, making with up for the, my the light my is sort of filtered through this water as everything is shifting around. But you see past a couple weeds, past a couple what's. Um, you don't see anything living in this water, but um, you see this wriggling form of what seems to be a sackcloth. Okay, um, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna yell Jeswaldo and then dive in the water and try to beckon him to follow me. Okay, Jeswaldo, you see her pointing down, and sure enough, you see the same thing after this. All right, so I guess we will do a help on each other to swim or get the. The uh, the yeah. two of us are one of us should give the other person advantage. So if it's possible, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go down and help. But okay. I, I I do I'm not skilled in athletics. So how close is the guy who's just aimlessly fishing in the distance? He is. You guys are right up next to him right now, and he's yeah. do you not need even me to paying attention swim to check? you. Um, can I cast sleep on him? So sleep is a um, like an area of effect spell. You have to. Uh, I mean, I guess you could not, you could affect only him in it. You could position your sphere so that would happen, but it requires a roll. And basically, you knock out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk knocking out people that are underwater. Um, well, that's what I mean. You could you could position the sphere so it would only affect him. There there would okay. be a way to do it. Oh right, I thought you meant I had to to roll to see if it hit anyone else. I was like, no, I don't no, 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 no. It's just like, <laughs> it's a sphere, but you would place the sphere in a place yeah. where it's like just on his head and no one else's. Mm -hmm. It's possible to do. Yeah, I just want to stop him from rowing away. Okay, go if ahead and roll roll the amount of, uh, I think it's D8s, maybe 5D8 or something like that. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, 5D8. Seems high, actually. Is it 5D8? Minutes, Holy me. crap, that's a really good sleep. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> 26 is a lot of hit points for the base level sleep spell. Um, you see him just collapse in the boat. Yeah, well, the, uh, while the uh, while if we're like parked next to each other while he's asleep, I'm gonna, while we're like above where they are, I'm gonna hop boats um, and tie him uh, okay. with rope. So... You're, you have just cast the spell. The Jeswaldo and um, uh, oh, yeah. Claire when I, when I are underwater. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And My so you're about to jump water. over. But and yeah, yeah. so it, are Alimas. Alimas is holding the light down to illuminate. Maris, are you yeah. doing anything? Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can help at this point. It seems like there's a lot going on. <laughs> In and out of character. Do you have yes. a rope? <laughs> Uh, um, Mary, uh, 
actually i probably don't have time to say it don't worry yep i mean it's fine if we can there's a little bit I, of meta that goes on anyway so if, i yeah. do have a rope up to 50 feet i was okay. going to suggest she joins me because when they come up we don't want them to put her on the boat and it capsized because there's too many people in it mm -hmm. okay okay glad somebody in this group is smart my gosh, did you hear okay that? so one or both of you or are you both making separate athletics checks then underwater well, i am not skilled so i can't help right so so i'll make a roll fuck me Nine. um does anybody have inspiration to give elena you got this i believe in you <laughs> okay <laughs> I will I feel make a. So inspired. <laughs> I'm talking about the actual, the inspiration point that we have. I'm not talking about bardic oh, inspiration. Oh, I don't think I've got one. No, no, I don't have one. No, I don't. No. Have one. Okay. No. I will. I will make an athletics check to see yeah. if I can help. Oh my God, please do better than me. You've rolled an eleven. He did better than me. <laughs> We're with not good dual, underwater. With dual tens, you guys are making your way towards the top. But it is starting to become very difficult, and you are beginning to lose your breath under the exertion. Oh, shit. All right. I pull out a dagger, and I cut the bonds and the bag as best I can. Oh, okay. did we make it down? Yeah, how close are you to the bag? You guys have reached her. That's oh, what okay. that's what great, the great, last great, great, one great. was. Sorry, if misunderstood. That. Running out of air to to get us all up, then yeah. okay. I will you guys so, yeah, her. down to her, and you, but you are struggling to get her back up. Okay. Is that possible? Right, Is it all right to? Yep. Yeah, to uh, yeah. Okay. Um, it would probably be. Let's see. Um, an attack roll with disadvantage. Could I make a case for sleight of hand? Um, sleight of hand. So you are actually trying to cut a large swath of something carefully instead mm -hmm. of doing a fine motor skills. If you were just trying to cut a tiny little hole in it, maybe, but this is a, this is trying to cut her out of a large thing. It is a difficult procedure. It is, I understand. It is kind of a slice and attack. So got it. All right. So, um, a dagger attack. A disadvantage. So that's an 11. Okay. But that was a short sword. I'll roll a d4. Yep. So 2 plus my two is uh, dexterity plus 5. So total of 7. Total of 7 damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. You slice through. It's not a difficult one to make. You do see a little plume of red. But then you see a struggling form trying to claw her way to the surface. Yeah. You see the form going, going, and beginning to slow can I, um, just If a I've bit. got a hand on her, can I try to channel a little bit of lay on hands into her? Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, I'll give her uh, five. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, yeah. The plume of red um ceases as she begins to uh, go and she gets a little last bit of energy she's about halfway to the surface okay, reach cool. my we're, gonna, staff, we're guys. gonna both need to sure i'm yeah, holding absolutely. my staff down as far as i can see if she can does anyone it. else do anything to help at this point she is I slowing think Marie just a bit dropped her rope in the water. yeah i did try to get the that, rope that into probably the would water. sink that but well, i don't okay. know what i do Something heavy. Um, I don't know if like someone can grab, like if anyone sees it. If Make a, a perception check there, Maris. Okay. Because I could potentially illuminate it, I think. Do you have light spell available? I have, um, let me see what I rolled first. A 16. 16. Okay. You can see her clawing her way to the top, eyes wide in a panic, and beginning to soften and close just a bit. Yeah, I do have the light cantrip. Okay. Did I, you say you wanted to do that? To... I would like to, yeah. Okay. I, can I drop my uh, my spell books and stuff in the boat and I dive in. Okay. 
So there is a light. You see Maris's light on the end of a rope, Alimus, and you are in there. Make an athletics check. As you, it's not a difficult one. You have a rope. You have light. Fourteen. You go down and oh, Alimus is just beginning to slow a bit. You wrap an arm around her and you feel a taut rope above you. Yeah, I'll pull myself up. Maris and Claire, you feel the ro- the rope go. Poof tight against the edge of the rope mm-hmm. or get against the edge of the boat so we try to pull so athletics or yep for both okay. of you Great. unless there's something else you like to do the uh, two of you are you trying to, oh sorry claire's underwater maris yeah, you're the only yeah. one in the in the boat Shit. i guess oh is mary with me or am i are we in separate boats I'm, oh, I'm mary is with, with, with you the, yeah i'm in the float yeah. with the guy yeah, so and i she. was tying him up Got it. Okay. Okay. So I'm alone or no? I'm still I, confused. You're alone. <laughs> okay. I cool. don't know whether I had um, done by now. Oh um, my gosh! Sorry, seven. With this, uh, a seven is just a bit too difficult to pull him up any faster. I'm All pulling right. up anyway. So if Last I had, bit, if yeah, I had finished, guys... if, if I had finished tying, I would have helped pull, but I don't know if I'd have finished by then. You are tying right now. You have just finished. Now, oh, okay. Claire and Jeswaldo, you see the arm of the wizard wrap around her waist. He is clinging to a glowing rope, which is casting light through this um, water. This is your guys' last action in this skill um, skill series. What are you doing? Can we swim back up towards them? Yeah. Okay. If this is a bad roll, it could be really bad. Yep. I have a 12. Okay. A 12, you're able to take... get up to them. Okay. You feel a little bit of help, Alimus, as uh, another hand reaches the rope. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, Jeswaldo! <laughs> I've rolled Jeswaldo a four. Is, is I have used the last yourself, of my energy. You feel yourself gasping for air. You just go look <clears throat> towards the surface, and you can't help but just claw for that light that is the surface of the water. Your brain goes black, and all you hear, all you think is... <clears throat> Is you surface quickly? Yay! Oh. Very kind of you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. DM. It's not a. It's 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 not that kind of uh, survival check, but it okay. is. Okay, uh... fair enough. I thought I was now, a gunner. With a twelve, though, and with Elimus, can I pull myself Having the up? rope. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want me to roll? Yes. Do I have advantage as I have a rope? Got oh, fifteen anyway. Yes. Oh, nice. <clears throat> with that. And with Claire's 12, you two are able to both pull up and you see um, you both (gasps) gasp for breath as you surface and are able to put this nearly unconscious form up onto the boat. The entire party girl barely do what one lizard man (laughs) could have done like that. She is coughing and vomiting lake water onto the boat. Um, but she I'll, seems I'll, to be I'll still alive. Use use a few more lay on hands on her after I pull myself into the boat. Okay. Uh, I'll give her four. I cast fireball on Sarif because he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the druid? That's all right. Family first. It's cool. Yeah. You guys have a tied up fisherman, two boats, <laughs> and. A girl who is about, like I said, about nine years old, just wheezing in the bottom of a boat. Doing that, my best. And also, Arabelle is there. (gasps) (laughs) So, just to get straight, in one in one boat is myself and the fisherman. In the other boat is everyone else. Correct. I'm gonna try and persuade someone to join me in my boat so I think that... Maurice is already in there, isn't he? Maurice is in no, there. No, I'm not still in the other they boat. He stayed so with the we'll say, we'll say that when Jeswaldo surfaced, he, he surfaced by that boat, then he climbs into your boat. Hmm. Um, would it be helpful for Maris to cast Cure Wounds on her? Or... Make a medicine check. Okay. You you look at her. She 17. is half drowned, but not. Um, she's not lost any hit points. She is okay. just severely out of breath and recovering from the yeah. experience, mm-hmm. coughing lake water out of mm-hmm. her lungs, just wheezing, trying to get her breath yep. back and 
I've, um, I've got to get into on her. a stable condition. So, mm -hmm. yeah. While we're running back, I'm going to start casting Detect Magic. Okay. Fiswaldo pulls out his dagger and makes like he's going to cut the throat of the man who's sleeping. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> not yet. I need to see if he's been charmed. You're not there. I'm, I'm in I'm the boat. yelling I'm... at you from the other boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm in the boat. I've got him tied up. I'm probably still on top of him, like, tied. And the moment you pull out a dagger, I'm going to be like, no, we need to talk to him. I can't imagine what this piece of film could have to say. We need he's doing this. Someone may have sent him or charmed him to do so. Hmm. All right, you, could, you have a good point. I didn't think of that. Now, if you could put your good point away. Oh, yes, sorry, of course. <sighs> All right, can we start making our way back to short? <sighs> yep. You're able to row. This time, time is not of the essence. No athletics check required. <laughs> you oh, you have to do it at the same time. Okay. Gotcha. Actually, IRL, I'm really bad with boats. So I'm not. Oh, I'm a pro. Docking. Rowing. Alimus <laughs> looks like a drowned rat. And he's trying not to. He's obviously uh, left his uh, books now on the thing, but he's yeah. got it open, trying to read from it and cast a spell. Mm. So, and, uh, Strings, do you have the ability to, like, dry me off? <laughs> Can you like? Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I do that first. Okay. <laughs> I I just I just look over at Claire, and I'm just like, really? I've it's cool. Really? I've got it covered. I've got a perfect spell for that fireball. <laughs> I, so, I, look, I look over. I'm so dry. Who has just been kidnapped and drowned? And just say, "Are you all right?" I I've, I've been trying be... to help her. <laughs> I didn't leave her out to dry. I just love the uh, idea of her like coughing and you're like, dry me. Dry me. <laughs> Elimus, as y right about the time you guys hit the shore, your detect magic goes off. You, of course, detect all the um, magic items your um, party all is carrying, two of them. which you've become familiar with. There's more than that, maybe. Sorry, you're uh, muted. Lee. I said there's not many. It's not yeah. many. It's not many you, DM. Also, um, <laughs> you detect a, a, a magic from a book inside Casimir's robe and a ring around his finger. Mm. Uh, you, take them. <laughs> <laughs> you detect no magic on Bluto or Arabel. So, no. <laughs> like, so I thought you said the ring and the, the book were on Bluto. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, on about the elf. Oh, the, okay, the, yeah, yeah, the mage yeah. that you guys. I obviously don't go all cut to ever take them. But no, I was I, my main thing. I wanted to see if there was any enchantment on Bluto. Uh, you detect no magic coming from him. So is he enchanted or not? Hmm, I'm not picking anything up, but who knows? <laughs> Once we're on. Um... Once we're on the surface, um, the shore. On the shore, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, just Waldo, do you think you can um, get him off the boat? I'm not that strong. It's easy enough to do. He doesn't really argue. He's just kind of looking around. Have you gagged him? Or just sleep, right? Uh, Oh, he's asleep. That's yeah, right. Yeah, he's, he's asleep. Yeah. Yeah. If you just dump him off, he will wake up. All right. That's we'll right. Yeah, I wanted. I was wondering if someone could carry him, like. Right. Out All right. Of the boat. Okay, I will try. Okay. If you have a, what is your strength score? Um, my strength score is twelve. That's enough <laughs> to, to fireman carry someone. Okay. That's it's above average strength. So, he is a large man, but you're able to do it. At least briefly. Drop in there just while I know. Yeah, I, I put them down not very gently, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Jostle's awake. I pull out my sword and I uh, hold it to his Adam's apple. Mm. 
I think we might have some questions for you, fisherman. Mm. Tell me everything okay. you know, and I will try to enchant him. All right. Saving throw. We'll save DC 15, 16 now. <laughs> I have a six as a result. <laughs> While they're hit. interrogating him, I'm going to try to um, dry off Arabelle and... Mm. I've already His him. eyes will sort of glaze over. You will have advantage on any sort of... Hello, my friend. He will just stare at you. So, why did you try to kill a little girl today? Mm. Gave her to the lake. Catch fish. Gave her to the lake to catch fish. Is what this a usual thing lake? for you? No. Haven't caught anything in a week. Who told the you Stani to sacrifice? are lucky. Thought I might give her to the lake and catch some fish. Is he a complete dumbwit? I was going to say, do I believe that? Make story? an insight check. <laughs> Just... Alignment and Marie like uh, Mary, you're oh, do I have advantage? Well? You say seventeen. Sorry, did you say I have advantage? Alignment, it's a little hard to tell. No, <laughs> you said I had advantage on my stuff because of the enchantment. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. you do. Twenty-one, you do. You're right? Twenty-one. I'm sorry. So you guys are both able to tell. There's a familiar monotone delivery to all his sentences, even when enchanted in a vacant look to his eyes like a husk like someone who's looking for a bucket yeah mm -hmm. this doesn't seem to be much at home in there poor bastard <sighs> just trying to get some and he <sighs> says Got a stamp it's fish. just a it's just a vistani girl oh i cut his throat oh <laughs> shit no 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 no, no, no. no, I did it. <laughs> just... uh, you do, yeah, okay. I cut. Co I cover Arapel's <laughs> eyes. You see, just Waldo's dagger flit in front, and there's, you know, for a second, it looks like he was just threatening, and then you see a line materialize along the side of, and then his shirt is slowly painted red. Close his eyes down. Close his eyes. We sleep well. on him and I kick him into the lake. There are some okay. fish for you. A, a warning would have been nice as she wipes some of the spurting blood out of her eye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. Well. You see, you hear. He's <laughs> going to die one way or another. <clears throat> Thank you. It wasn't us. It was your friend here. He's a savior. And I point to what's his name? Casimir? No, the other one. Oh, Alexei. Alexei. Yeah. Um, he will rush forward and kind of give her a hug and say, I'm so sorry. I I, I didn't know. I, how could I have known that? And she would just say, It's okay. You couldn't have known remarkably calm for what just happened to her. Is there any enchantment on her? You haven't detected anything. She seems very just wise beyond her years, you may say. Maybe it's time to not run off into the woods, little girl. Your friend here might not have been here to save you in the end next time. Arabelle. It, was it just this man? Was anyone else involved? No, he just... He just... Grabbed me when he saw me running through the woods. Covered my mouth. I saw Alexi run by, but I couldn't yell out to him. <laughs> well, this tub of guts was right about one thing. You are certainly lucky. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get you so back home. We... Yeah, I'll get you home. I'm sure you're very hungry. 
I am. Thank you very much. I am. Um, I could really. I, I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh, you just bothered. There's some fish back at the stack. Just well know. Uh, no, no, I'm not a fan of fish. <laughs> We'll head uh, on uh, back. Do you hey. want to just let you know that your father has been drinking? Um, I assume it's because he's worried uh, about you, but just as a warning. Thank you. He's... Well, I don't really remember my mother, but I've been told that... Um, that he's never been the same since she died. I suppose I, all I can be is, well, grateful that he's taken care of me so well this far. And I think what you'll be this time is a wake-up call to him. How do you feel about your uncle? <laughs> uncle Arago? Yes, that's the one. He's, well, he's, he's clever. He's always got some sort of trick up his sleeve. He's kind of funny, too. Mm. <laughs> Waldo grumbles. As so you guys are making your way back, you hear off in the distance. I figured. Let's be on our guard. Coming from behind you. Close behind? Is, is Sari with us? Sari is back in Sorry's, my head. Yeah, okay. Sari's. I remember hearing that there were wolves around here. Yeah, is that close howling or far off howling? Make uh make a perception check to try and identify. Make a a passive of seventeen. Check. You definitely heard the howling. I rolled a three. Damn you! Tough to tell. You, say the seventeen distance. again. Thank you, Alimus. Nice. You rolled your passive. Um, or and from that mm. you say closish. No, no less than no less than two hundred meters. Tra pick up tracking us. Yes, Waldo will hang back. That's hard to wa say. Watching for wolves. Okay. Yep. Murray will also be sort of behind the others. Yep. I've got Arabal with me and Maris. You will hear what sounds to be, again, a barking in the distance and another large howl, yeah. loud, coming from behind you, closer this time. continue pushing forward hmm. okay i make a small minor illusion of a fresh dead deer behind us so potentially maybe confuse or arise suspicion of the wolves okay as like what's the last what's the range of that 30 feet, 30 feet. Yeah. Last for one yeah. minute. Okay. I'll just keep redoing it. <laughs> okay. You will hear at one point a. <laughs> and they continue to grow louder behind you, delayed a bit perhaps, until you hear a. Hey! From the corner of of the road off and you see a man in tattered clothing run your direction god do you hear them yeah and another one joins him um they both carry long bows are they vis are, are they vistani or are they clothes. um it seems to be common people folk. from Velaki. yeah okay are they coming from the city uh they seem to have just come out of the woods from either oh, okay. side Probably hunting. There's no, there's no hiding from pack that size. <sighs> Who's hiding? Can you help us stand and fight? My, and the other one says, "I broke my tampo string." And one guy's standing there with uh, just like a, what looks like a stick, like the bow broke. 
Um, I mean, we can do what we can to protect you, I guess. These ones uh. are, God, these are different. One was standing, standing up. Like, God, it was a wolf standing up. Have you seen it? Werewolf. I'll wait until I can see them 150 feet away. Okay, like you can hear <laughs> rustling in the distance. I see a pack of them. She beyond. Yeah. Can we, I... is, there, is there something that we can, is, is there something that we can back ourselves up against that's defensible? Uh, you guys are in a wooded area right now, so it's trees, copses, bushes, that type of thing. Um, uh, go ahead and make a perception check. As that you're looking around, one of them says, do, do um, any of you... Go ahead. What? Three again? Sorry. What the... F <laughs> Sorry. The gentleman with the snapped bow, I, I hand yeah. him my dagger. Thank you. Does the anybody have the mending cantrip? Nope. nope. Bummer. The one will say, I... Uh, but... I've heard, silver, right? Isn't that good against the those types? Do any of you have a silver weapon? I have yeah. one, don't I? We're waiting for them to be built. Yeah. Can yeah. I see it? Can I see it? I'll show him. Okay. Can I? I. I I'm. I'm pretty. Is it a sword? It's a short sword. Yeah. I, I'm okay with. Uh, I'm pretty good with a blade. Can I? I can use it if you want. We okay with that? Um. No. No, we no, are not. Okay. I how mean, do, how do, sincere do you, you want to use it? What's that? Just Waldo? Well, the question is, is Irena with us? She yeah. is. She is oh, running she, with you guys. As I recall, she has a silver rapier. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Um, uh, I think she yes, did. she does. She does have a silver rapier. Yeah. So does she look like she is ready to fight? Yep, she's drawn it, and she is running with you guys and looking about, yeah. All right. Um, I look down at my rapier. Put it away if Western it doesn't. Give it to her. I'll use it. Must they die, or do you want us to just buy you time? Um, well, so I, I'm confused by the action, Sean. What are you... I'm putting away my rapier in frustration since it's not silver, and I'm asking for the silver short sword. Claire. I, I'll hand that over. I'm sorry. I, I know he needs it. He can he can be very effective. But if you stay behind us, we'll protect you. Okay? You can't leave me with nothing. Come on. Um, well, here. Can... I look at my rapier. Be very careful with this. Okay. So Irena hands over her rapier to you. Right? Or no. She just is keeping her silver one. Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I gave him the short I would rather have her silver rapier if she wants to give it to me, but I'm assuming that she wants to hold on to it herself. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, she's, if you haven't asked, she, if you haven't asked her, she will just be standing at the ready. So. Yeah. Wait, well, Do now you... that you mentioned it, um, even that, uh, well, it's a conversation for another this, time. Yeah, All this right. is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> Keep hey. going. You guys back around, you hear it sounds, you don't see any of them, but in the distance, footfalls all around. And the one, is of, the, it? The one of them is still sitting there. I think one of, did anyone give him a weapon? I gave him a dagger. Okay, he looks daggers. Oh, I guess. Well, no, wait, I gave, I, I'm sorry, this is confusing. I gave one of them a rapier. I guess the one who wanted the silver short sword. I yeah, took the, the silver the short sword and I gave and him one, my rapier. And the one with Got the it. broken longbow, I gave a dagger. Okay, yeah, yes, they were looking for some closer weapons. Got it. All right, so you're now all kind of encircled. Um, if you would please, we're gonna pull pull you over to a little map here, sort of featureless. But if you would, oops. I like to imagine we are circled around the young girl, yep. so she Absolutely. is. Absolutely protected yep. yep so please place yourselves in sort of a circular fashion um here is arabelle all right she's on the wrong layer but... there we go okay yeah i'll stand right in front of her facing outward why does she look freaky they all do <laughs> why are you done <laughs> And we all have... Oh, there we go. Initiative. Which direction are they coming from? Do we know? Uh, you are... It, it sounds like things are 
all around you. Okay. This looks like an elf. It is not. <laughs> Who's that? Just These are men back in up sort a space. of ragged clothes right here. No, they're not. They're, they're, imp they're, they're fey creatures. It's a trap. Shit. <laughs> um, Foiled your plan. That was just the first thing I put on. Here, let's use this. <laughs> oh. Now they look like trolls. <laughs> Foiled your plan. <laughs> So and the, the evil the evil character in me was thinking what we do is we kill these guys and leave their bodies for the uh, <laughs> werewolves and we just run past. <laughs> yeah, I was like, when they asked for us to stop, I was like, now nah, we just keep running. <laughs> Amazing. Don't have to run fast, just have to run faster than you. <laughs> so stay so you hear um, a crunch away from the room just while they're the evil. As you guys are back to back um, this direction. Okay. And emerging from the woods, you see an enormous wolf Great. flanked by two others. Just two. Okay. For now. And you hear it. Uh, <laughs> call out just Pull, you know, throw its head to the sky and let that out. And you hear <sighs> right next to you as these hunters go, ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh, shit. And their bodies start to deform before you. They become uh. immediately more hirsute as hair just grows out of um, their skin. Their faces okay. elongate, turn into snout, and <laughs> open up. Told you. And they, as they turn into these hideous-looking half-man, half-beast creatures. Nice. We should have left them. They would have just attacked us. Yeah. yeah. Got down to it anyway. And. Now we roll some initiative. Yeah. Damn you. Damn you to hell. <laughs> yes. Mine did not come through. I don't I'm not really sure where to click on Beyond 20. Sometimes it works when you click on the character sheet and sometimes it just doesn't. Oh beyond twenty. Ah, ah. Nicely done. So I'll just click well on the, uh, uh, thank the you very three. much. I just click on the plus three in the box, in the initiative box. I click the initiative and then click the beyond 20 in the top right. Yeah, I don't need to anymore. There's sometimes some of the things I do need to do that, but beyond 20s, I think, evolved a bit. Mm. It's because D&D Beyond now has a dice roller built in, so it sometimes yeah, it gets every, changed everything. Yeah. Mm. I just turned all that off. Cool, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got everyone. All right, Jeswaldo. Not unsurprising. You are the first to act. All right, Jeswaldo, is it, would it be possible for me to attack the um, half man, half wolf, and then um, potentially move Arabelle? Like grab her and move her someplace else, or are those two separate actions? That would be two separate actions. All right, then I think it is better to attack. Oops, I am going to put Irina in here as well. Oh, thank you. I will attack with the silver short sword. Okay. I have rolled a 12. 12 manages to just stick past its skin. Very well. And I did 18 points of damage because of the nice. sneak attack. Very nice. You slash across it and ah, looks hungrily towards you. I will move around him and say, okay. come on, you can do better than that. Limus, you are up. I look at the uh, the big creature. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
been waiting for you. And I say, I start weaving a spell, pull out some back guano and so far and say, Ignis Ragor. And yes, I, there it is. A pin, <clears throat> a tiny little bead of red flies towards him and explodes on top of him. Boom. Uh, uh, DC 16 reflex, I believe it is. Yep. Direwolf has 21, and then I have 13 and 11 on the. Uh, Is there any others around us? him by chance? You cast it on the far guys? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I have t the, 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 the little ones failed, the big one seems to have succeeded. Is there any others around him that we don't know about? Um, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> it's a 20 foot thing. Centered on the big one. Centered on the big one. All right. Go ahead and roll your damage. 26 fire. Okay. Very nice. You notice as these two want to go up in flame and turn to cinders as they charge at you and are no more. Solid. Did the big one take any damage? Yes, he did. But it seemed to um, duck and dodge out of the way just a bit, um, sort of turning its back towards the uh, towards the brunt of the impact. Mm -hmm. Certainly scorched very badly, but not as bad as the other two. Okay. Um, that's me done. All right. Next, they turn to you. Having seen the mote of fire erupt from you, this half-man, half-wolf creature looks at you and tries to bite you they 23 to hit oh god yeah all right take seven points of piercing and i need a constitution saving throw uh -oh. 15 all right there is an ache that courses through your body up to your shoulder and your head pounds for a moment but you steel yourself you gaze hard you breathe deep and you it subsides. You feel it subside. You'll then rake its claws across you with another 23 to hit exactly. Wow. Oh Natural 19s for five points of slashing damage. Ouch. That's it. This one, just while the, you have moved, maneuvered around, will try to bite you with an 11. That is not enough. All right. How about a 21? A 21 does hit, unfortunately for eight points of slashing damage. Very well. This one charges forward and leaps towards you, Mary. You bitch. And bites you at a 17. That hits, and I'm gonna use my reaction. Okay, he deals 15 points of piercing damage. Okay. To make a strength <laughs> saving throw. Okay, uh, 15 points of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, shit. And uh, strength saving throw. Um. Twelve. You are knocked prone. Okay, I am I still able to use my reaction? You are. Okay, um I use my hellish rebuke. Um but I do it at third level. Nice. Um so I think that that's four D ten. Upcast, yeah. Um, but I can't figure out how I can cast it at level three. I don't think it will if let you me. If you don't have, if you don't have the, if it's a, if it's a feature and not a class spell, it's only that level that it starts at. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, it sucks. Uh, seven fire damage. Okay. Yes. Uh, Describe this hellish rebuke. Um, so 
I like to think she pulled out her marionette ready for combat, and as he charges forward, she kind of winced back a little bit, and it shook the the marionette to just like shake loudly, and it once again just this loud um, burst of just heat comes from her as as her eyes go to f- almost flame, Ooh. and it erupts from her. Got it. And it bathes the thing in flame and it howls in pain. And he dies. It does not die. But I cast the die spell. <laughs> but I did the, the, I did the thing. Maris, I get up. It. Um, Maris will cast Bless on her compatriots. Okay, I think you can choose three at first level unless you're upcasting yeah. it. I'm going to upcast it to second level so I can bless everyone in the party who's fighting okay everyone else yeah aha d4 wonderful it is good you feel the presence of saloon within you anything else nope rena will go forward and threatening at this creature. We'll use the help action towards it. Claire, you're up. Uh, the help action... Next attack knowledge. against it gives is has advantage. Okay! That's exciting. Um, I will start with... Where did it go? Where did That's it a go? question for the DM. Panda. Yeah, is a level for humanoid. They certainly have a, a human-like form. Um, go ahead and make an Arcana check. I was thinking the same. So nineteen. <clears throat> sorry to interrupt. Uh, sorry. That's okay. I was going to ask um... this my turn anyway. 23. Between the two of you, you think that um, they have not changed fully into something like an aberration or whatever. There's still humanoid nature to them. So, yes. Um, I have a question just because I can't remember. Uh-huh. It's been a little bit. Is my um, Hexblade um, weapon, it's not It's not like the, the third level version, right? It's just my... Um, my chosen weapon at this point um hex weapon um is it considered magical as far as okay um so i'll start by um bonus action casting hex on the one that arena um is doing the healthy bit on um and then um i will make an attack with my long sword with booming blade. Casting some heal wounds, yeah. cure wounds here. Or you can what? heal it, yeah. That was not my intent. I don't know how that happened. Um Traitor. Ah Did it go through that time? Okay. Yep. Um so then booming blade and at fifth level it actually deals some damage on the attack, so that's fun. Um so my attack roll with the long sword is at advantage. Ooh. Booming uh, blade is an action. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So that and that's part of my single attack. Yeah. Um. So twenty to hit. Um. I don't. So you cannot booming blade as part of a multi attack. It's not a multi attack. I don't have multi attack yet. Oh, I thought you were no. rolling two attacks. You were just no, I because I have advantage. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. <laughs> so um, I presume that hits. Yeah, um, absolutely. So that is eight damage from the sword plus three thunder plus two necrotic. And if okay. he moves, he takes an additional nine thunder. Got it. Cool. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it. I'll take a defensive, st- or not literally a defensive stance, but I'll sort of back up against uh, uh, Arabelle, try to okay. protect her. As you, as the... Oh, it's Mary's turn. Yes. Hello. Um, 
uh, after Knocked Prone, um, her eyes still kind of glowing red with flame, um, she raises um, her hand with sort of jangled marionette, uh, beginning to look like I was almost like all fours as a wolf and I'm going to cast crown of madness. Um, so I need a wisdom saving throw of 14. Um, I have a three. Perfect. So he is now charmed by me. Um, The big wolf boy. Um, so uh, a jagged crown uh, appears on his head um, as Marie, almost like still with the fire in her eyes, begins to maneuver this marionette to head towards, um, almost like with her hand, to the wolf that is by Jeswaldo, um, commanding it to attack that target. Is the big one a humanoid? That's what I was asking, as if it was a humanoid, was the big one. I think the smaller ones might be. Oh, is the big one not a humanoid? That might be an the big one's just a big wolf. Yeah. I thought that was the I thought sure. that was a werewolf. I thought the, the big one was a full werewolf. Hmm. Because my arcana check was meant to be for the big oh, guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, this is just a dire wolf. It would say a large a wolf. wolf. Yeah. Then I will have this guy then the crown of madness on to then attack the big wolf. We'll oh, swap it's the target a, oh. around. It's just okay. a dire wolf. It's just a big wolf. Well, you, it, it seems to be just a big wolf. Um, it did not change. So the my mistake. Sorry. It has to use this attack before it moves on its turn, which is interesting. Uh, that I mentally choose. Normally on its turn. Um, okay. Um, um. So I think if it if it this is a this is a strangely worded spell. Yeah. Sorry, I'm confused by it now. Yeah. The charm uh, target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. The target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature, or if none are within reach. So it acts as normal. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll say... Uh, uh, attack that worm. Just Waldo, please... Shove him in front of the other one. Mm. <laughs> I'm grasping at straws. Interesting. Grapple check. Interesting. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Anything else, Mary? Uh, I'll throw inspiration to Jeswaldo for that action <laughs> if he chooses to try. <laughs> All right. Pretty please, basically. Uh, this was As... this would have been. So Do a lot of damage, way. or maybe fail at the grapple check. Mm. Uh, I think As the next just hit it. round rolls around, you guys are able to hear the sound of the previous, some of the previous rustling that you heard. Oh, the yelling is from the sides of the woods. Oh, I got a glitchy old uh, roll twenty here. Oh, no. Um, excuse me, while you see. I mean, I'll happily here. change my action. <laughs> no, it's happens. an interesting, it's a, you know, yeah. to figure out how it works. Right. But you see two more emerge from the woods. You're learning. On either side. We're all learning. I'm so mad. <laughs> all right. Down. Jeswaldo. Yes, um, Jeswaldo hears uh, the request, but he, he chooses to to do up to do the damage as opposed to potentially and most likely fail a grapple check so he will attack and now i will miss because because you know i just invited it yes (laughs) um you also got bardic inspiration, by the way. Uh, well, I have rolled a 22, so I will not use that bardic inspiration just now. Nice. And I did Absolutely. 21 damage. <laughs> and we've got Ooh. bless. A fine strike. 
Oh, I definitely forgot about the bless. Hello. And uh, I will I will save my reaction and not move. Okay. Is it still alive? <laughs> yeah. Elimus, you're up. Obviously panicking that they're still alive. He will look at them both and pull out a piece of iron and speak the words Adak Manir. And I need a, a wisdom say from both of the two werewolves. Uh, from the two nearest? The two nearest, yeah. Okay. First one has a two. Second one has a 15. It's a foul. Wow. Nice. Both are held. Yes. Very did you nice. upcast I love that did you spell. upcast hold person? I did indeed. Just so they are pure, paralyzed, I couldn't take yeah. another hit. I'm hurt. So That's exciting. I can't take it. Wow. Hit, but... <clears throat> okay. So I do that and then I move just to here. Okay. Behind the booth. Um they can on their action take actions or reactions. Um can I do anything? The... What's that? Wisdom will be paralyzed for the duration. At the end of each turn, target can make another wisdom yep. save. So they will do that at the end of their turn. Okay. The wolf on top of you, Mary, bites down harder into you, this time with advantage as you are still prone, I believe, or did you stand mm -hmm. up? Mm, I don't think I, because that's an action, so I couldn't have. It was half your movement. You could have stood up. Oh, I would have stood then. I'm yeah, standing where you are, it will leap and attack at you again. Uh, this is 18 to hit. Yep. We'll do 12 piercing damage. Yep. And another strength save. Okay. Um, Marie is looking real bad right now. Um, uh, 13. Okay. Uh, you are not knocked prone. 13 okay. is enough. These five. Does that the plus four go for saving throws as well? On the bless? Uh, attack rolls and saving throws. It does. Mm -hmm. So so keep that in mind. Success anyway, these, but yeah. These saves. Mm -hmm. They will close. We'll dash to fully close the distance. And these two will make some saving throws otherwise the end of their turns i've got a 14 and a nine. Oh boy i fell yikes maris love advantage yeah. and um, automatic crit for melee attacks that's right really yep. yes that's exciting they're incapacitated uh, i love it um oh no You're welcome welcome <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to power through. Um, Thank you, Alimus. <laughs> so, I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon for the first time. Woohoo! What does yeah. it look like? What does it look like? Okay, so I've been thinking a lot about it. Um, <laughs> and it's going to be like Sailor Moon-esque. Like yes. Crescent Moon. Sort of like if we think about like her how her whole little crescent moon symbol yeah. was. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Where, where do you uh, have it manifest? Oh, no. Poop. Um, I would like to have it manifest at first, if it were to happen, um, over <laughs> the big wolf. Okay. So we got a little... Sailor Moon crescent up there. Yeah. What does casting at a higher level do, then? Does more damage. It does oh, more damage. Wow. Yeah. Now, um, I'm Ace, going to mention. Unfortunately, will not hit. I know. I'm going to mention this, um, Liz, because I know you're you're new to casting. You're playing a, a cleric, but that is a yes. bonus action spell. Yep. Oh, so you still have so... an action. A, he a healing awesome. word would be a really good also spell a to cast. bonus action. So. That's... Oh. Uh, oh. And healing word. Well, healing word is. A bonus action and Can I cure uh, wounds? any other yeah, cure wounds is going to be a good. leveled spell which you also could not <clears throat> cast great, 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 great. we have someone who is in dire need of healing i'm so sorry um, that's all right it's good to have a spiritual weapon out you can move so, and hit the dial 
Yeah, can I shoot my crossbow at the dire wolf? You could. You are not oh. threatened by anyone. You could also move and hit it with a melee weapon. It's up to you. Okay. Um, then I will move and hit it with a melee weapon and All right. hope that isn't a mistake. <laughs> um, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, so I take my mace and can I move to just like the closest one near me? Yeah, well, if you want to do the dire wolf, it's you'd have to move up there. That's the one that is currently on, like, mauling your friend and has dealt all that damage. Eh, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, well, then I'll go help with that one. All right. Okay. So, I mean, it's 11. To hit. 11, unfortunately, will not hit. Its Gosh. height is thick and tough. Darn it. So. Well, I tried. <laughs> <clears throat> So as you guys, um, it'll be uh, Irina. She will use um, the help action once again against. Oh no, this he's one. he's held. Doesn't need to do that. Oh yes, then she will do this one. Okay. She is pinned between two. All right. So good advice, Jeswaldo. Um, very sorry, friends. I need two minutes. Oh, I'll be right okay. back. If you want to plan, scheme, do whatever you want. Bye forever. <laughs> So while he's gone, we've obviously leveled up to level six. Yep. Yes. As long as we're in charge. Can attack. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, pick a legendary weapon or item. Um. Everyone, mm. add a hundred hit points to your health. Cool. That would be great because I'm on one HP. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When I said she was looking bad, I I meant that she was looking okay. bad. Okay. Yeah. You were not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like this is this is the lamest party when mom's not home. <laughs> I'm sitting here doing nothing. Oh, so has who has a who has a heal them? for who has a heal for Marie? I know Elias Elimus also needs a heal. I'm I'm too. I'm still on twenty hit points. I'm not too bad. Oh. Um. So. I'm hoping that I can use my turn to try to take down one of these guys that's um, held right now. I, if she um... gets hit one more time, she goes down. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm a goner. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm so annoyed because I thought that it was the big dude. And I was like, oh my god, yes, I've got him as Crown of Madness. Like, this is great. And then it's not the big it's all dude. Right. It happens. Uh, I'm so mad. Dang it. Um. Shit. Okay. Um. I was silly, and I didn't take any healing stuff. Sorry. Right. Because. Is, um, it, is everyone doing their hit points on D and D Beyond? I'm assuming they are. I. I am, but I did look on the Twitch overlay, and yes. it doesn't seem to be updating. Yeah. They're all full. Oh, yeah. Right, too. Uh -oh. I believe it's Claire's turn to act. It is. Um... La, 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 la. Um, okay, so the guy that is here, that's the one that I hexed earlier, correct? Yes, yep. that is the one. Okay. Um, gonna... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just checking a thing real quick. Okay. Um, I am going to smack him and slash at him with my long sword. Um, cast the same, same procedure as before booming blade. Um, okay. so the, and this is just the attack with advantage. So 19, Good um, thing. weapon it's attack. An auto, it's an auto crit. Yep. Oh, it is. That's Go exciting. ahead and roll another d6. What's that? It depends which one you're hitting. Which or one do you hit? Um, so another d8 with... Um, but that that doubles all damage dice. So that does that include the spell and the necrotic it does. damage? Okay. So, um, ah, so many things. Okay. So, um, back one d eight. Um, so eleven damage from the sword. Then um, twelve. Or, well, I can't do math. Um, one. 
Uh, plus another backslash R and one D H. Uh, four thunder damage, and that's just if he moves, right? No, that's no. that's it's at the high enough level where it actually deals. Oh, nice damage to yeah, start full. with. So another four. Um, and then hex. I. Uh, so if that was five plus another uh max r one d six. You can just press hex. Um again. eleven. Ooh. Another eleven. Which one's that? Is that is one looking That's this guy? Looking awful. Still standing, paralyzed. I believe he gets Jeez. another save after taking damage, or is nope. that not the case? No. Nope. Wow, that's All a right. good spell. Um and then they're both paralyzed, which means they can't make attacks of opportunity against me if I move, correct? correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, would it be possible with my movement action to pass a potion of healing to Mari? Um, it would need to be, yeah, I will, it's your item interaction, so yeah. that's okay. fine. So um, I'm going to step here. <clears throat> no. Pass. no, 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 don't step Sorry. there. Go the other way, go the other way. I, I'm going to pass her a potion of healing. Are you staying there? Um, and I guess I could come back with, a, a, if you should DM go back. Allows. Okay. I'll, if, if DM is okay with it, I will That's step fine. up to pa I'll pass her around Arabelle, uh, normal I'm sure you healing. Could reach over her. <laughs> um, <laughs> my arms okay. aren't that I mean, long. <laughs> you can technically move into this space and move back if you wanted to. It's, yeah. So yeah. that, that's what I do. I move and then I come back having passed her a, a healing potion that I okay. had in my back. Um, I will say to do the item interaction there, you had to sheath your long sword. So if that matters for anything, um, you had to sheath it, get in your pocket and hold it out. And... Okay. <clears throat> that's, I don't think that changes anything. Might not, but. Uh, still got, still got my shield, yeah. yo. Uh, cool. So Mary, or yeah, Mary, you're up. Okay, so drinking this this potion, um, I have no idea what it gives me. Um, I don't know what to roll for it. Uh, um, is two D four plus two. Yeah. I can I can do it through the thingy, maybe. That's all good. Uh That's six. Forward. Um so oh it's two D four. Yeah. Two. Yeah, roll an extra d4. Yeah. Don't take Elena's garbage Don't take roll. mine, because mine was horrid. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a okay, really good potion so... of healing. Yeah, it was great. Delicious. Um, yep, yep, yep. And is that, that's, is that my whole action? Like, could I cast a spell? It is an action to take a potion. <clears throat> Not in my games, but that's all right. Um, I will then... I can't move because he'll get an attack of opportunity. I am willing to cry. Okay. I will hold a re a, I, I won't try and stand up. You should stand up. Yes. I'm already stood. I'm already stood. You didn't stood. get knocked over this oh, Okay, time. good. I will You can bonus action is your inspiration if you have any uses of that left. That's one possibility i'm be inspiring <laughs> uh yes i can be inspiring too um my brother um so I, I get up i drink the potion and i just say show him what you got and i try and make eye contact with elimus okay elimus you feel mary's inspiration what does your marionette do as you drink the potion <laughs> He's also drinking. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Love it. That's what it's I was like, hoping. It's like boys. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. She doesn't wipe like the excess though. He does. He's more polite than she is. Hmm. Just while though. <laughs> All right. I am been waiting for this for a whole round. I am going to attack automatic crit on the werewolf who is um, held Right, right. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. I just did a lot of damage. That is a 19 points of slashing damage. Yes. Do I need to roll more? Well, you do. No, it's, it's <laughs> that's item. actually oh, okay. exactly the hit points that he had left. All right. You drive that sword sword into its chest. You see its eyes widen for a bit and then dull. 
Oh, and there's a slight were... hiss as Good if riddance. the there is almost like a chemical reaction between its blood and the silver you're driving through its chest. <laughs> and then I say to this one, you want some more? You want what that guy got? You want it? I can give it to you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and I'm done. Bill <laughs> um, That kind of ruined my whole plan. Oops. But that he got killed? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. No, 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 that's good. Um, oh, oh, how hurt? Can I see how hurt the uh, the dire wolf is? Uh, it is bleeding, limping a bit. It doesn't look in super great shape. Uh, but um, I will not go five. Super good 10, 15. No, don't do that. Why? Because. So, a little meta here. As a swashbuckler, I get to add my sneak attack if yeah, I'm I am. I'm not doing it for that. Uh, okay. One second. Let's have a look. Uh, step to corner. Swashbuckler. Is what I'm showing there, is that okay to cast a spell like that? Yeah. Yeah. He will come there and put out this tiny little scowl, um, a red scowl, and then he will crush it in his hands and then face out towards the creature in front of him, towards the dire oh. wolf, and will speak the words Ignis Trabem, and a beam of fire will just come out and hit them both. Ooh, nice. very nice. Which, which spell is this? The Scorcher? I can ask the Scorcher, yeah. Yes. DC 16 Again, as a scorcher. Got an eight. <laughs> They're not doing the deck saves well today. Uh, the one nearest to you has an eight. Wow. And then I have a ten. So they both uh, fail. I don't know why that cast wow, that. Sorry, no, that cast it at third level. Oh, I haven't got any. All right, third. so we'll just take off the last, that last one, damage last die. Seven, so, yeah. um, so, so, so how much damage? So it would be 17 damage. Mm -hmm. yep. Still not bad. I don't know why that cast at a third. I clicked on the wrong um, one. That is just enough. You will hear this creature howl out in pain yes. and try and roll around Oof. on the ground as if it's trying to put out the Stop, uh, roll. flames, but it is unsuccessful and it, it drops a charred smoking husk of a former wolf. Impress I will do, my sister. We need right. some fire-related duo names in chat, please. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> they go. This one will bite and attack Irina. The bite yeah. will sink its teeth into her for not too many points of damage. Make your count save. Make your count save. Let's see. She fails. Shit. And you hear, <gasps> you hear her gasp, and then you hear the loudest crack of thunder you've ever heard in your life roll across the country. <laughs> you see them up, look up and around, and <sighs> this one looks at her and then runs towards you, Claire, and, cl and claws at you. That would have been really great to have the other night when we were playing <laughs> during the thunderstorm. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, he hits for a... Um... Hmm, let me check this. Oh, they don't. That's a shame. All right, I have a nine to hit you, so he uh, misses with the claw. Yeah, bounces this... straight off the shield. <laughs> this one, Jeswaldo. Come on, come on. Go around you, sort of. Um, circling you will bite at a 16. I am able to dodge. And you will also be able to dodge the 13 in that case. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was looking so good. And we will roll a wisdom save at a 12 for the other one. Still held. Woo! Love Maris, that spell. You're up. Yes. Okay, so... Have people who need to be healed 
of because it's hard to keep track of the hit points since they aren't showing up um on twitch is mm-hmm. there anyone who needs healing um, that is obviously my priority i'm on 20 out of 32 i'm okay for now so it's fine i'm on 10 out of 28 okay well <laughs> i'd love to help you out so <laughs> i am going to cast uh, let me see where am I in relationship to you? I'm right there. Um, hello. The cat, hello. The cat, the cat looks a bit needy. So cute. I'm so obsessed. needy. Oh, um, I love him. So I will cast cure wounds on you. Did our friend have uh, bless? What's her name? It was only four oh. people. I think it was just the rest of the main party. Yeah. 16 healing, holy heckin'. Oh, that was a good heal. Good job, Liz. Yeah. Mm. It was very good. Yes. Don't forget the spiritual weapon. I know, and I was like, it's so amazing. now I can use the spiritual weapon. Um, you can move it up I... to 20 feet. Okay, so beep boop bop. Um, is this one within range, or is that a little too far? It is. Great. So I will attempt to hit that wolf with my spiritual weapon. 24 hits. 24 nice. hits. That's great. Yay! Yeah. You, s- oops. you smack it over the head. And it seems very effective. Is that still, is that still at third level then? Uh, that one was at second level. Oh, so you've already cast it at third, so you should be using... I don't think I... Did I cast it at third? Originally, yeah. The first time, yeah. Oh, so should I have done it at third? Well, that... What's the extra damage from third? I just accidentally clicked the wrong thing then, I guess. So, um, so it would well, be we can extra... add your next die roll, which is fortunately a one to make it 13. <laughs> no, it's just an extra three damage. That's all it is. 15 damage okay. total. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, very nice. On to Irina, who is holding at her wound, but will stab at the one that is held. Hold this up here. And she thrusts her rapier forward with an 18 dealing. Wow. 10 points of damage total. Was that crazy? Yay! Yeah. Well, she doesn't get a huge bonus, but. Um, yeah. Isn't that. Was that the one that's held, right? So she, that's yep. an automatic crit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. She heard second damage dice was a one. So. Oh. Um, That'll be it. Claire, you're up. Okay. So this one is barely looking alive. Okay. And this is the one that was held, correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um the one next to you is probably more dangerous. It's going down. Yeah. Um I will Oh, goodness gracious. I don't know. I suppose I you really want me to attack that one, don't you? Um, sure. I I will go after this fellow here. Um, with the um, same uh, spell thing before, but I won't have the the hex on it because um, that's on the other guy. So long sword, thirteen to hit. Your attack will penetrate its hide. Okay, um, so that is na, 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 Bless as seven well. plus. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, so that was seven slashing damage plus um, four thunder damage to him. Okay. And actually, you know what? Having made that successful strike, let me also use a divine smite on that. Nice. Smite it up. Nice. Yeah. For an extra seven nice. damage. Cool. That's very nice. I see you 
uh, deliver a staggering blow across its chest. It staggers backwards just for a moment, but a hungry look returns to its eyes. Okay. Um, that'll be... Will, on a hot summer I will, night. I will stand firm where I am. All right, cool. Marionette. Uh, any of the, probably this one here, actually. Um, she will aim her marionette. Yes, hello. She will aim her marionette towards it. Um, and the marionette will reach up its hands as if it's grabbing its head and begin shaking it heavily as I cast Dissonant Whispers. Oh, um, no. uh, CC Wisdom Save 14. I have a 16 as a result. Well, I like that. Uh, let me see if that gives me half. Excuse me. Uh... Uh, I think it... it takes on a failed save it takes 3d6 psychic damage oh on a failed save sorry blue. um on a successful save it takes half the damage but doesn't have to move away got it all right it does take half it kind of uh, its eye twitches a bit but it doesn't take the full um damage you would expect it doesn't shake its head quite like the marionette yeah. anything else um, that will be it. I've run out of body inspiration. Actually, I'll move over here. A little bit out of the way. Okay. Just while though. Uh, just while though will move five feet away from Elimus, and he will attack with the silver short sword. I also get my um, sneak attack done on this, even though I'm not with the ally because I am a swashbuckler. Mm -hmm. I've rolled a 15. 15 hits. Excellent. So I have done 19 points of slashing damage. It really? is looking bloodied. And very bad at the moment. Yes, you did not like that, did you? <laughs> Elimus, you are up. Elimus will walk away from Jeswaldo. Stop playing with your food, Jeswaldo. And walk over to here. Pull out another... Another small... Oh, look how nicely lined up they are. <laughs> yeah, pull out another small scowl and repeat the words, Ignis to that mem, and Ooh. a line of fire will come out again. All right, here's a nice. here's a question. Do paralyzed targets automatically fail dex saves? Yep. I think they do. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do. All right. So this one... Would it be double damage on him? Mm, uh, no, no, that's weapon. Not, no. That's yeah. Only, weapon only melee within five feet. Yep. Yep. Um, Twelve... On the other one, failed. So also a fail. Eighteen save today. fire damage. Yes. All right. Uh, this one seems to just burn in place like a held um, pyre of a creature, just going up in flame, burning like a candle. This other one tries to duck out of the way, but is unsuccessful. It's so sandwiched between your allies, and howls out in pain as it begins to burn. Burn, See now, about burn. half of its fur is blackened. It is bloodied and looking around, panicked. It's my guy. Knowing things aren't going its way, it will turn. It will dis use the disengage action. Mm. 10, 15, 20, 25. And it will start to run away. This one near you, Jeswaldo, is just in a rage of hunger and will continue to attack. Excellent. His first bite will be a crit. Hmm. I need a constitution save after you take 14 points of piercing damage. Ouch. Um, I will uncanny dodge that 14 points. Okay. So I will take 7. But first I will make a constitution saving throw as soon as I am able to find it on roll 20. Action saves. There we go. Con save coming up. I rolled oh, a five. Shit. <laughs> All right. So first, okay. Let me wait. Wait. Wait for it. I need to take care of the damage. I don't think bless Seven. Me yeah, and so the yeah, with a five, a four. Uh, even if I roll a four you, on the you bless, you got bless, and you've still got inspiration. That's true. Aha, uh -huh, Thank you for the reminder. So okay, if you roll I will... ten, 
<laughs> it might do it. Let's see. There's a three. That's good so that's start. Come on. And Nine. bardic inspiration. Should I waste Come it? On. Yeah, you got yeah. three. Yeah. Unless you want to be. I, I so I rolled an 11. You were one short. <gasps> ah, <right>? No! <laughs> As you feel a cold chill run through your body, you feel hungry for a moment, oh, and no. suddenly ah, your hand hurts. You instinctively want to drop the short sword, though you hang on to it. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it, excuse me, and then it came over me. I can't wait for the werewolf vampire hybrid that will become. It's coming, yes. Oh they, can't, uh, they can't. They uh, can't save, but they can swing. It has a twenty on its second attack for the claw. Uh, that that twenty oh. does hit. Uh, seven points of slashing. All right. Maris, you're up. Yes. You notice okay. this one is bitten just Waldo and then raked the claw across his chest. Yeah. Um, I would like to cast um, ba -ba 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 -ba. definitely something to help him heal. Um, I'll also cast Cure Wounds on just Waldo. Healing Word. I'll cast Healing Word on just Waldo. <laughs> okay. Do I need to be closer to you, or am I? Nope, good? you're good. Okay. If yeah, so healing word is the bonus action, so you couldn't also swing with your spiritual that's weapon. That's It's up okay. to you how you want to I'll, do it. I'll help the buddy out if I can. Yes, that that will help. Thank you. But yeah, are you doing that at third level as well? Yes. Okay. Hmm. How many slots um, have you got? Ah. Uh... Oh, I forget that it doesn't keep track of it if it goes on. Yeah, third level's weird. I have to tick my third levels. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so that would have taken care of both of them since I didn't cast Spiritual Weapon at third level that second time on accident. So I'm good at the 12? Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. Um, and then, let's see. I am. I still have an action, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, hmm... So I'm just trying to decide, like, is there, so when is there the, op like, an attack of opportunity? When does that, like, that if, wolf that ran away, is that? He or took no? a disengage used, action. Yeah. So normally when someone moves out of your threatened weapon range, so your typical wet weapon range, you can take a attack of opportunity, a melee right. weapon range. Yeah. But okay. the disengage action means you just counter that you back away safely it's okay i'm gonna so attack him great okay so i'm not gonna run after him because that would be stupid so i am instead going to <laughs> oh how far can i move and so this wolf that i see right here can i just like you can move over its dead body yes perfect okay um per <laughs> square still so that's like five per square mm -hmm. yeah so okay. we'll just move it out of the way <laughs> thanks okay so one two three and I forgot how like diagonal movement works. It's the same. Um, some corners are different, but in this sense, you've you're pretty much good. So. Okay, so can I get this close to the? Totally. The okay, and I will try to hit it with my mace. Do it! Oh Don't my gosh! It. What just happened? Ah! You okay? Yeah. <laughs> some virtual dice just rolled on my. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna want to turn <laughs> that off at some point. I clicked but... the wrong thing. It just shocked me. Okay. <laughs> Giant dice shaped ah! bugs crawling across your screen. Yeah. Okay. 15 um, will hit. Yeah. Yay. Good. Is this a regular mace? Just regular mace? Yes. Doesn't seem super effective in the damage, oh, though okay. it is barely it hanging on to life. <laughs> okay. Cool. So that is my turn then. All right. Cool. Um, Irina is bandaging her wounds at the moment. Claire, you're up. Okay, um, so as a bonus action, I would like to move um, the hex that had been cast upon the now deceased wolf at my feet and move it to the one that's running away. Okay. Then I will um, just just for kicks, I'm going to step up, sheathe my sword, and cast um, Eldritch Blast after him. Mm -hmm. um, that is uh, 
two beams now. Okay, yeah. Um, so, first one, only a nine. Um, I'll try the second Plus. one. Oh, yes, that's that true. Get there um, if I roll max, I think it will. Nope. Only the opposite of max. <laughs> yep. Should have said anything. Okay, we'll try again. Um, 15. 15 will hit, though. Okay, so 5 plus... Um, uh, roll I don't know why it's not rolling six. 2d10. It should roll 2d10 for you. Oh, she gets separate beams. Yeah, they're separate beams, not... Uh, um, oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. that plus... So 5 force and 5 necrotic damage. All right. Off he is limping off, but still alive. Tits. Mary. He's still alive. Uh, so I am going to, at a safe distance, um, repeat what I did last time. Uh -huh. um, and do another beautiful dissonant whispers with my hand um, as he's... Words. This one or this one? Towards the oh, running one no. or the, okay, that one. Yep. I didn't even see that one because the turn order was over the top of it. Gosh dang it. Um he's running, so yeah, I'll go for the one that's running away. Alright. Um because I don't want him to get out of there. Um so I need a wisdom save. Maybe he could go tell his friends that this is what happens when you attack these people. <laughs> yeah. Or he could be like where you could be like, yo, bros, come this way. So what does your marionette do when this happens? So the, for the dissonant whispers, the marionette yeah. um, brings up his hands, like, grasps at its head, and is, like, trying to shake the, the sound of the dissonant whispers away. Yeah, so you see this kind of werewolf do that. It's just trying to get him out, and you see it, and then you see it just once, just twist and almost do a 180 as it turns its own head backwards. <laughs> Looking at you for a moment and then slinking down. Yes. Ooh, nice. <laughs> That's wicked. Amazing. I imagine it. seeing your marionette do like a, it, it has like a rotatable head, so it just brrr, spins its own head around like a top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, creepy. All right. Oh, nice I job. love it. Just while though. Take him little, out, take him out. I look at this other, and I'm looking at the wounds and all right. Oh, you have lots of pointy bits. Here's my pointy bit. And I stab him. <laughs> stab away. I have rolled an 18. 18 That's will do sorry. it. And that is 16 points of slashing damage. Wow. Two hit points. How would you oh. like to end this last one so i say that and i just <laughs> <laughs> i pull out the, the sword <laughs> wow, that was strange um i am bleeding i need help are we is he is the wolf dead it is okay We're um out of initiative order. all right um all right, let's see, let's see, let's see what I got here. Um, I, I will... don't feel right. I feel... Uh, yeah, both mm. both of you and Irena are a bit... Irena, are you, how are you doing? Can I do um, a herbalism check? I feel, I feel cold. Okay. Yes, I, I also feel cold. Uh, uh, herbalism to do I know identify... Do checks about this? Yeah, it would be Arcana. Arcana. Um, real quick... 22. Um, I'm sorry. Continue. Um, you know that the bite is a common method to transfer werewolf lycanthropy. Do I know if it can be cured at the beginning? With that role, you know it is a curse. Oh no. Can be didn't, you, didn't we just make an agreement with um, uh, Rictavia that he would teach you remove curse? Yeah. All right. I'm really hungry. How about, are you hungry, Irena? All right. Well, for the time being, let's get you guys healed up at the very least. I'll use my remaining um, lay on hands on Irena. That's just three points, and then okay. I'll come over with a uh, cure wounds for Jeswaldo. I also have some spell slots. Oh, thank left. you. Uh, take. Claire, care. you smell very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I guess. 
I <laughs> did rush over to Gizwaldo's aid, and now I do a 180, and I head over to Arena. <laughs> okay. Everyone smells really nice, actually. Oh Everyone. Right. Um, and we'll do our best to bandage these bite wounds as well. Okay. Sure. Uh, would it be... This is, uh, go ahead. Was that information spread that it could potentially uh, yeah, cause the spread lot, like apathy? Mm -hmm. Because if so, uh, would it be correct in assuming that a tourniquet could potentially be used as well, sort I, of I help? think I think they're just cursed. Yeah, it's not a disease or any yeah. poison. It's just yeah, yeah. Gotcha. They're, they're shit out of luck right now. We just need to be careful. Um, if we come around to. Um, so that that was just about the bite. Do you do you know any more, Alimus, about the progression of the curse? Probably the next full moon. Uh, do you do we know where we are in the cycle, DM? Um, it is. What is everyone talking about? It's been difficult to see the moon because you haven't even seen the stars at night. Oh. There has never been a clear sky since you've been in Barovia. I'm guessing it could be right. accelerated here. Maybe. Well, in any event, we should probably get Arabelle back to her family. And then we just kind of need to sit on our hands until Rictavio gets back. Okay. Get you guys will be able to make food. it back to the Vistani camp. Maybe that, that elf fellow also has the spell. Mm -hmm. Can we the... Oh, yeah. The... Casimir. Kashmir. He's still with us, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He is somewhere. He took a different he... route. Ah, good. I don't have one. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe he is one. Is it possible for me to loot the the bodies? I'm aware that they were like kind of a werewolf esque. Oh, you so... guys should take back whatever you gave them. <laughs> oh yes, because one yeah. of the things back is very pure, but he looks yeah. very thoughtfully at that short sword. Came in very handy. You can um, hold on to it if you want. I, my my weapon with its magical properties seems to be sufficient in fighting them. Can I hold it? Oh, yes, but actually, it that's is a good question. Uncomfortable. It aches. Uh, does anybody else want this? I hold I it out. Take it. To uh, okay. I uh, guess. Well, is that bad? Need. No, Tay, go ahead. No, absolutely not. You were not here the last time we played, and or were you? No, you weren't. No, she wasn't. I was not. And we, no. we, we commissioned silvered weapons. For oh, so nice. we all have it silver weapons coming. For you. Oh, that's Arena. right. Hmm? Arena, do you want to trade rapiers? Um, do you, do you, uh, it'd probably be more use in your hands, wouldn't it? Just thinking of the silver. <sighs> Oh right, I. I'm sure, yeah. And she she will hand it over to you. Okay, I'll give her mine. Like okay. Good. She's a bit distracted by all this, and also you notice that that um, there's not a thunder cloud in the sky or anything. Mm -hmm. When she was bitten, that thunder that emanated was mm. seemed to just sort of shake her to the core. We know who it was. When she held the silver rapier to hand it over, did it appear that she was uncomfortable as well? Yes. Okay. We're making our way back, correct? Yes, you are. And uh, go ahead. Oh, how, how's Arabelle doing with all this? She was just hiding behind all of you. Um, like before, though, even though being going through danger, she seems to be um, shaken a bit, but is taking it remarkably well. Um, okay. she As... remarks she makes a remark on the way along the lines of um, well I, I knew you would succeed because you have to hmm. okay. because um, I'm not supposed to die so Something I like, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am as we're walking back I'm going to ask her um, I know that this is a little vague um, but in in during your lovely nine years of life upon this realm um have you encountered some sort of strange like object or treasure something that catches your eyes being a little bit out of place different 
I don't think so, though. My dad, the door? my dad keeps a lot of some some nice, some some pretty nice things. I think there's some magic things he keeps locked up in one of the wagons. Okay, that's good to know. But maybe Is that why you came and rescued me? Yes. Well, so you could. We... <laughs> Of he, she not. looks at, she makes direct eye contact with you and says, I thought it might be something like he that. Smokes. Okay. Sorry. Well, you I'm seem glad to be you very, did it anyway. you do seem to be very astute and we'll be honest. We did hear about you first with a uh, reference to something that we need to find. You don't have to explain. I understand. We all have a purpose here. The big eyes you have, little girl. I mean, I mean yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go just Waldo. Um, I assume we tonight, make it back. Uh, yep. You will make it back, um, and that's a good place to we, where we will pick up once you reunite, mm -hmm. All right. um, father and daughter and everything. So. Cool. It's a great place to stop. <laughs> oh God, what have we done? <laughs> hey, hey, no, it's your fault. <laughs> you brought this upon yourself. Indeed, and upon all of you watching. And speaking of, thank you for all of you who tuned in. We're having yes. a lot of fun here. Hope you're having fun joining us. And uh, we have some other cool shows coming up as well. Aerith on Sundays. I think maybe Aerith this week. I'm not sure. I know maybe. there's only, what, four sessions left of Aerith. Wow. Yeah. And Ooh. Then, what we got on Monday? We've got sure. Trapped Monday, at Home Monday. Yes, Monday. Trapped at Home. The, uh, the adventurers will embark on the final portion of the first chapter of Descent into Avernus. Definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. Very I'm cool. a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm everything else. I do goblin things. Cool. But yeah. Well, thanks for joining in, guys. Thank yeah. you all for playing. Cheers, guys. And see you soon. Bye-bye. Buonanotte. <laughs>